Good morning. Happy Monday morning, everybody. Happy Monday morning of the new year. The first Monday of the new year. The first Monday morning of the new year. But you know what? There has to be one first Monday morning of the new year. I'm just glad it's this one. Because here I am playing a new game, and here you are with me. And I've got coffee. That makes it tolerable. Cheers. Uh, we're playing High on Life today. Uh, came out last year, which isn't very long ago. Like, it came out well, a month ago? Really? But we were playing other stuff at the time. And uh, so we couldn't get to it right when it came out. But it's still really new. It's like a, it's like a month old. Um, and it uh, had a lot of press leading up to its release. Everybody's saying that it's going to be great because uh, one of the writers of Rick and Morty uh, contributed to this game. Uh, I didn't look it up. It, I probably should have. But uh, So it's supposed to be a really funny, tongue-in-cheek, humorous game. And uh, I'm looking forward to tackling it. But uh, how was your New Year's, everybody? My New Year's was great. I'm still recovering uh, from the celebrations on Sunday night, or Saturday night, and then, of course, the continued celebrations on Sunday night. Uh, really need some caffeine in my system. Eddie James, a member for five months, and a bronze ox, says, hoping the best in 2023 for all. Absolutely. Thank you, Eddie James. Hoping for the same thing. Let me refresh Facebook here to see if uh, we are live. And we are. Still haven't fixed my uh, Facebook gaming issues. Don't know how to. But uh, I'm at least live on Facebook. That's what matters. Good to see you, Matthew, Eli, Jonathan, Toby, and everybody on YouTube today. Tony, uh, Jocelyn, Greg, Slatty, Bartfast, Jake, Lane. Alt Grendel, Alt Master, Mr. Virus, Laneberry, uh, Pyro, Tyler, Shadow787, 200, Angel, Cat5, uh, Mr. Virus, Jersey, and the regular cast of characters, Jocelyn Ryan, with a super chat, says, uh, Happy New Year's to Ox and all. I've apparently rung 2023 in with FEV. So I'm glad to see something fun on the channel. Drink a cup of coffee for me today. Will do. Jocelyn, so sorry to hear about that. Uh, hopefully you'll have a swift recovery. I had family that uh, contracted FEV over the holiday season as well. It wasn't fun for anybody. Had to miss uh, Christmas dinner and all of that for certain people. So always a, always a, a big problem. But the recovery was quick, and so I hope it'll be quick for you too. And I definitely have my coffee. Phil says, as Weird Beard said, don't expect any ad revenue from this game, but it's such a funny game. Hopefully you'll love it. Oh no, really? Great. Well, um, I guess I'll see if there's a streamer mode. Oh dear. Uh, that means I'm going to have to do a lot of, um, deleting and muting after I upload it to YouTube. <laughs> That'll be fun. Shadow787 says, Happy New Year. Here's to 2023. Thank you, uh, Shadow787. Broxen Kane became a silver ox. Thank you, Broxen Kane. Cat5 says, Laughter is always a good way to start the year. I'm always down for laughter. I couldn't agree with you more. Chris Sylvester became a silver ox. Thank you, Chris. Julian Z says, Good afternoon, Ox. So good to see you on this. Hi, Monday. How did you spend your New Year's? What other new games are you considering for Wednesday and Friday? I am excited. Um, I spent my New Year's uh, in downtown Seattle. Uh, there was a party that I went to, and uh, yeah, it was a good party. Lots of dancing, lots of uh, loud music. The, the food wasn't good. I, I paid extra to go into this back section that was supposed to have a lot of really good food. And yeah, I got there a little late. But uh, by the time I got there, all the food was practically gone. Second, I mean, I'm getting emails when everybody in my life knows that I'm live. Uh, there you go. Um... 
Anyway, yeah, so I get there and all the food was gone. So I didn't get hardly any food. I was drinking on an empty stomach all night that night, but I didn't spew. And that's something, right? At my age, 42, managed to drink all night and I didn't spew. I was great. Second, I gotta tell this person to leave me alone. All right. Got it. There we go. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I had a wonderful uh, New Year's, and uh, I was up way too late. And then I woke up really with a pounding headache. Thank God for aspirin. But then I found a, a dim sum place in downtown Seattle, and I had some dim sum. I originally tried to go to a shack shop, but but because uh, I I wanted to, or a milkshake. It was a shake shop. And so I went to the milkshake shop to get some burgers and fries, and there was a lion wrapped around the building, and there was no human being inside actually taking your order. Apparently, it's the trendy thing to have all of these iPads stationed outside, and I tried to make an order with the iPad, and then at the very end it says, Oh, we're so sorry. Obviously, it was our mistake and not yours. Uh, but we couldn't get to your order. Please talk to a person. I was like, wow going through this entire thing to avoid having me talk to a person just to to get to, to force me to talk to a person and there was no one I could talk to because there was no one at the front desk they were all in the back because obviously nobody's actually taking orders I was like screw this so I didn't go to the Shake Shack and instead I went to a dim sum place and the dim sum was amazing I had amazing dim sum so yeah I had an eventful and fun New Year's Eve hope you guys did as well as for my games for Wednesday and Friday, I haven't decided. I'm kind of thinking I want to try something new. You know, I usually do a different game on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm thinking I kind of want to play the same game. Like, it's been a lot to have a brand new game every single day. Then I got to kind of remember where my mind was at when I last left the game a week previously. And it, that's been all right. I haven't minded it. But part of me wants to just kind of play one game. Also, I don't know if I'm going to go back to my Friday uh, live stream schedule because uh, I. it was really nice having a free Friday last week to finish my lore video. Hope you guys enjoyed the lore video. Uh, two and a half hours it ended up being. Two and a half hour long lore video detailing the full complete history story lore of the Institute. Didn't leave anything out. Well, the FEV lab. We left out the FEV lab because that deserves its own video. Plus, I already have a video on the FEV lab, so I suppose I don't need to make an another one. Well, I mean, that one was made a long time ago before I kind of solidified my style. So I'm going to do another video and I'm going to go through all the details of the FEV lab. But uh, yeah, everything done in the Institute, all of the characters, all of the holotapes, all of the notes, all of the perk magazines, just absolutely everything. And man, uh, th it was a densely packed location. Hope you enjoyed that. So yeah, that's uh, what we're doing for the lore series. We're tackling the story of the Institute right now. We're going to uh, carry on with that until we complete the story of the Institute. And then we'll move on to one of the other factions. I hope you enjoyed my uh, intro music that I had composed. None of that music is from the game, by the way. None of the intro uh, music that I've been using in this series is from the game. I had that all composed by my regular composer who does um, all of the music for my lore series. If, of course, it's inspired by the game music because I'm doing a story on the game. Um, but for the Institute, you know, it's a combination of some of the Institute themes in the background music that plays when you're exploring the Institute. Um, mixed in with his own flourishes. So that's original. It's an original composition inspired by the Institute composition. Uh, and uh, yeah, it turned out really well. I'm super happy with how it's turned out. And uh, it had a great uh, reception. So I'm glad you guys have been enjoying that. And I can't wait to sit down and knock out the rest of that series. What's my name says, Hey Ox, I'm in a long distance relationship and I don't know if it will work out. She keeps leaving me on delivered and then saying she fell asleep. I love her so much, but I don't know. Do you have any advice? Um, that's a really hard one. On one hand, leaving, you know, f falling asleep while texting you is not a reason to break up with her, right? Um, on the other hand, 
you know her better, right? Is she, is she lying? Is that what you think? Do you think this person is lying to you? Do you have any evidence this person is lying to you? Are you being overly needy? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not accusing anybody. I'm not saying you are because I have absolutely no idea. Uh, what your relationship is like, but could you be being a little needy and that makes her feel overwhelmed and uh, like you're being too oppressive? Do you need to step back a little bit? Do you need to play a little bit hard to get? I don't know. There's there's a lot going on. Relationships are, are tough. It's kind of a, a little bit of a game. It's, it's also, you, you want to be honest, but you also don't want to, um, to come across as... Uh, uh, easy, I guess, as, as always there, as someone who will always be there as, as a good backup plan. You don't want to be the backup plan. You don't want to be too needy, uh, but you also don't want to play any un unnecessary games. So it's a fine line to walk. It really is. Long distance relationships are, are really hard. I can say, you know, having been in my fair share of long distance relationships and, you know, in-person relationships, that um, a lot can get lost online. You know, when, when the majority of your conversation uh, of your relationship takes place via text, there are so many nuances that just get lost from vocal intonation to hand gestures to facial, you know, smirks and all of that. That sometimes you could be with somebody who's just the, the most amazing, beautiful, uh, honest, best human being on the planet. She just doesn't text well, right? Maybe she sounds angry all the time. Maybe she sounds short with you all the time just because that's how she writes. And it could be that that's not who she is, but she sounds like she's being angry with you or that she's being dismissive of you because that's how she writes. Or what if you're with a person who just doesn't check her texts all the time? That's kind of the way I am. Like I, I, I'm a millennial and I was not raised on a smartphone. I have a smartphone now and I text, but I don't check my texts every other minute. You know what? I'll put my phone down for four hours while I do a broadcast. I, I realize that you see me on camera texting my che uh, or, uh, checking my texts all the time because I am also a father and so I've got the, the kids to look out for and all of that. But what if you're with somebody who wasn't raised on smartphones and doesn't have a habit of texting all the time? Well, then you might feel a little jilted if that person isn't answering with you within 60 seconds of you sending a text. I'm not suggesting that that's what you're doing, but people have different um, um, ways of dealing with technology, of communicating with technology. And it could just be that your way of communicating with technology doesn't mesh with her way of dealing with technology. And at the same time, she's still an amazing and wonderful person. Does that mean the relationship won't work out? I don't know. Maybe it needs to stop being a long distance relationship relationship for it to work out. So they're always difficult, but that doesn't make them impossible. Jeremy Russell says, hello, Ox, and happy new years. I am currently in Jamaica on a nine day cruise. Wow. What a way to ring in the new year. Jeremy Russell sounds amazing. I hope you really enjoy yourself. I'm super jealous. I wish I was on a cruise in Jamaica right now. That sounds amazing. Gontro Dem, a member for 22 months on the Bronze Ox, says, great to see you again for streams and a new year. Thank you, Gontro Dem. It's great to be back. And I got to thank each and every one of you for being patient. I had to uh, put my live stream schedule on hold just to get the first episode in my Institute series done. And I realized that bummed many of you out, but I appreciate your patience. I needed all of that time. It was out, I've got like 15 to 17 hours of footage in the can from just shooting the Institute story. That's the same as like all of act one and two. No, I think that was more like, no, no. It was more like 22 hours worth of footage for act one and two. But yeah, the Institute story alone was just so much footage that I had to capture, mainly from all of the dialogue and all of the terminals. It's like a huge terminal rich, I mean, you go to the Minuteman headquarters, and what's that? The castle? How many terminals are there? Very few. You go to the railroad headquarters, how many terminals are there? Two or three, right? You even go to the Pridwin. How many terminals are on the Pridwin? I mean, you've got Elder Maxons, you've got uh, Proctor Quinlans, you've got a few, but the Institute, there nothing compares to the sheer amount of lore that's in the Institute. All of the other factions, that's just a ton. Anyway, I'm, 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 I'm going off on a tangent here. Thank you all for your patience while I gathered all the footage necessary to work on this series. I'm back. 
I'm back and my live streaming schedule is back and I'm glad you're here with me. Quintayus says, Happy New Year, Oxhorn and chat. Thank you very much. Quintayus, so good to see you. Wasteland Wanderer. Ooh, and it flew off the screen. Hold on, let me find that again. Wasteland Wanderer says, Happy New Year, Ox. Loving the story of Fallout 4. Yeah, I'm having a blast telling this story again. And it's so much fun playing Fallout 4 again. Um, it, you know, it's weird because I played Fallout 4 uh, after like a 10-year break of Fallout 3. Like, I played Fallout 3 in 2008, 2009 when it came out for the first time. Then I played Fallout 4 2015, 2016, right when it came out. So it had been almost a good decade before I, since I had last played a Fallout game. And, um, and, and it was Fallout 4 that I was playing. And it was such a great game, and it got me back into the franchise. But then I, I pretty much finished all of my lore for Fallout 4, and I started moving on to the other Fallout games. And so it's great going back into Fallout 4 after having played Fallout 1, Fallout 2, Fallout Tactics, all of Fallout 3, all of Fallout New Vegas. And it's just, it's giving me... Uh, it, it was, I feel more better armed, I guess, going into Fallout 4 to have a better, uh, to better understand all of the, uh, uh, all of the finer points of the lore that they put together. And it's really, well, I mean, one of the things that impressed me about the Institute is how well connected it is. If you take a look at all of the different terminals and all of the different departments and you put them together, you get a better picture. Like every single terminal in all of the different departments will have some sort of uh, conversation about the energy issues that the Institute is going through. And it's really easy to gloss over, but if you pay attention, you, it, it tells another story. It tells you how callous Justin Io is and his department, right? Because every single department in the Institute is taking the power problem seriously because they, they want to help the Institute. With the exception of Justin Io, his department doesn't care. He's the only director lead who says, yeah, Father has this uh, is telling us to conserve our energy. And yeah, well, of course, we need to do our best to be conservative about energy and all other things but um we're special in the srb you know we've got special needs that no other department has so my philosophy is if you need power take power whatever i'll deal with the consequences later he's the only guy to do that right so i mean it's it's kind of it's really well done the way that they they can tell the stories of the different characters and the different departments and uh the uh, the complexity of the institute uh, through all of the different terminals that weave together so well. So I'm just having a greater appreciation of it. Uh, Julian Z says, uh, Wow, Ox, sounds fun with all of the libations. Did you partake in the dancing? And since you weren't on camera, did you perhaps twerk? Law, I did partake in the dancing. I did not twerk. Look, I'm from a different generation. In my day, we didn't twerk outside the bedroom. And that is something that I... I'm maintaining like I don't I, I, I don't got a problem with people twerking if people want to twerk that's fine I just don't want to participate in the twerking mainly because it's hard you got to bend down like you got to bend your knees and then start doing all of this lower waist flapping and that's just bad for your back you know you get to my age and you get these sore back muscles you don't want to be twerking at my age no I did traditional dancing I did a little uh, interpretive dancing uh, it was fun and I had a great time but no twerking. Jocelyn Ryan says, Oxhorn dancing the night away is going to be a mental pick, living rent-free in my head for a while now. No, I had I had a great time. Uh, the, the, I, I wasn't familiar with most of the tunes that they played during this jam. <clears throat> but uh, I, I was uh, able to dance anyway because I am familiar with the beat. And any beat can be danced to. And so I danced to the beat all night long. Venom King with a super tip. Thank you very much, Venom King. Julian Z says, also, Ox, thanks for the lore vid. So fascinating and loved how long it was. Looking forward to you trying a new streaming style slash schedule. I'm down to try. Awesome. Thank you, Julian Z. The Dark Seraph says, if you want another series like L.A. Noir, play, uh, play the Mafia Definitive Edition. Great story. Thank you, The Dark Seraph. I may just do that. Alicia C. says, A Happy New Year, Ox. Squanch Games, who made this, made another called Trover Saves the Universe a couple of years ago. It's one of the most weirdest slash funniest games ever played. Hope you enjoy. Trover Saves the Universe? All right. I'll have to check it out. Thank you so much, Alicia C. Venom King says, Hey, Ox, have a good time with this game. I just beat it. 
and it is the equivalent to a fevered dream. Oh dear, what have I gotten myself into? Do I want to be doing this when I'm still hungover for New Year's? I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. Gad says, Happy New Year, Ox. Uh, by the way, if you're looking for a new game, you might want to check out Terminator Resistance. All right, I'll add that to the list of games to check out in 2023. Cleansed in Fire says, Since you are the resident ladies' man, see the hair. Look, the hair isn't intentional. This is just how I rolled out. Look, I, I bathe every day. I really do. I bathe every day. I don't necessarily always bathe before I get on camera, right? So I rolled out of bed today, and this is my bed hair. I will be bathing later because I bathe every day, but I didn't bathe before the broadcast today. So this is my bed head, right? And I, I didn't have a chance to get it right, but I also don't want to wear the hat because sometimes the hat feels like it's pinching my head with my headphones over it. So you, you're... I mean, I'm glad that you're interpreting this as just um, me being a ladies' man, but this is just me rolling out of bed in the morning. Anyway, he continues, My wife may or may not be upset with me right now. What's a foolproof way to improve her, mo her mood? Oh, um, well, uh, that's a difficult one because every, every woman is different just like every man is different. Uh, but I, I think that what is likely... Uh, going to touch her would be something personal and handmade and sentimental. Something that is just for her, that she knows time and attention went into. I don't know. Is Did you do something deserving of her ire? Right? Do you need to apologize? Is that what, what you need to do? Or is she just, uh, you know, in a bad mood from, from work? So something work-related or something outside of your relationship. I don't know the details there, but I think you probably know what you need to do uh, better than I do. If it's you apologizing, the apology is always good. You know what? I, I always like it when I have to apologize. I mean, I'm, not that I have had to get into a position where I have to apologize, but if I have an opportunity to apologize genuinely for something that I did, I mean, it's always good to take advantage of those opportunities just to demonstrate that you're not above apologizing, right? That you're not the kind of person who can do no wrong. Have you ever met those people, those kind of people who, they, they can just, they, they just, they, they never do anything wrong. They never apologize for anything. I've worked with those kind of people. They're a nightmare to work with. You can show them the email thread leading to the poor decision that they made that cost the company or whatever, but even then, they never admit that they're wrong because they can do no wrong. They never apologize. Have you ever met those people? I never want to be one of those kind of people. So if I get an opportunity to apologize for something I have legitimately done wrong, I want to take that opportunity. I want to apologize to demonstrate that I am not one of those people that can never do wrong. And if it comes from the heart, you know, that's a good thing. It's always good to get a, a genuine apology. And you can, if, if the person you're apologizing to is a decent, genuine human being, that person is probably going to appreciate it, right? I mean, the rules are different when you're dealing with a narcissist or a sociopath. I mean, regular, normal behavior doesn't work around them, right? But if you're dealing with a normal, regular person, then a genuine apology from the heart that is meant honestly is going to be appreciated. It really will. Uh, doing something sweet and handmade, whether it's a little note um, or or even flowers, is, is always really appreciated as well. Um, Stormy, a member for six months, says, Great advice. Thank you, Stormy. I do try. Jay Leeds says, Hey, Ox, Happy New Year. I hope you have a great year. I'm loving the streams, by the way. Thank you, Jay Leeds. Many more to come. I can't wait to see what games we get into in 2023. Kerrigan became a silver ox. Thank you so much. Kerrigan, Brett Buss says, Happy New Year, Oxhorn. A little, a little advice. You may want to turn your gun and enemy voice lines to occasional in the settings. It can get a bit much. I'll tell you what, Brett Buss, uh, if it gets to that point, I'll make sure to do that. <laughs> tell you what, as we're playing today, let me know if it starts to get annoying. I, I kind of want to see what the gun says. I mean, one of the reasons I'm playing this is because the gun talks to you. And I want to see what it's like walking around with a companion gun. But if it does get annoying, let me know in the chat and we can tackle that one. Jeremy says, Happy New Year's all. Can't wait for another year of great live streams and lore videos. Thank you so much. Jeremy. Uh, British Ronan says, Plans for series on Bro Fallout Brotherhood of Steel? None, my friend. I, I do not plan to cover that game. I mean, never say never. It's possible that I'll find a PlayStation 2 somewhere and I'll find a copy of it and I'll hook up an emulator and... 
God knows the effort that would go into that. Maybe someday, but I don't know if it's worth it, really, honestly. I mean, I did fall out tactics because there was enough that was worthy of note. It was worth looking at, it was thought-provoking, it was interesting, and it correlated with some of the other lore in Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, so it was worth taking the time. But Brotherhood of Steel? It has been shunned by Bethesda. Like, nothing in that game has appeared in any other game. So I don't know if it's really worth my time. As a curiosity factor, just because I've never played it and I want to know, maybe. Maybe. But lore content takes time. It takes a lot of time and a lot of work, and I don't know if I have it in me to dedicate to Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. But we'll see. Irvin Chadwick says, Happy New Year, Oxhorn. Here's to 2 million subs in 2023. I mean, that would be really nice, but I'm not uh, I'm not getting my hopes up. See, the way it works is... <laughs> the way it works is you start making content and nobody notices it, and you just slave away at your content. You get maybe you know, a hundred subscribers a week or, you, you know, a thousand subscribers a month or something like that. You, you grow really slowly at first and then your content starts to pick up steam and people notice it and then they discover your backlog and you, boom, you just zoom up and you get your first million subscribers in like three months. And then the next half a million takes two years. And then the last half a million takes Four years, right? It's, it slows way down after that. Uh, but yeah, eventually, eventually I will get to two million. I really, my, you know, my son keeps on saying, hey daddy, when are you gonna get 10 million? When are you gonna get, when are you gonna get as popular as Mr. Beast? Daddy, are you friends with Mr. Beast? Do you go to the same YouTube meetings, daddy? Have you heard of Mr. Beast? Have you had his burgers? He's got great burgers, daddy. You know, my son, he really wants to meet Mr. Beast. And he thinks that he's got an in with me because I'm on YouTube. But I, I'm, I, I'm sad. Like, I have to break it to the poor kid. I don't know Mr. Beast. I don't know PewDiePie. I've never met these guys. And yeah, we are on YouTube, but we don't live in the same world. We, we work in different spheres. So. <laughs> yeah, it, I might get that diamond badge eventually. But it'll take a long time. Ethan uh, Wiltonen says, ready to see your thoughts on this game. Ha ha, happy new year, Ox. Thank you, Ethan. I can't wait. Julian Z says, Ox, I don't mean this as criticism. In your lore vid, when you talk about the whole soul survivor being a synth, I don't personally believe it. You didn't address your explanation of Vat's use before you have a Pip-Boy. And that's because I didn't think it needed explaining. And it was so frustrating to me after spending two and a half hours of, of just d dishing out the lore and telling the story and weaving so many connections together as I possibly could. I mean, I went through the entire Commonwealth provisional government aspect of things. I talked about Piper, talking about Mayor McDonough. Like, I cut back and forth. I tied everything together. But the one thing that is common in the comment section is, hey, Oxhorn, did you know that you can use Vats before you get a Pip-Boy? Yes! Yes, I knew that! I knew that! And I didn't cover it because I thought the explanation was self-explanatory. It's not because the sole survivor is a synth. It's because Bethesda built in a Vats mechanic into a character that is never without his Pip-Boy, except at the very beginning of the game. And they didn't want to bother spending the time to remove Vats as a game mechanic from the character for the five minutes that we don't have a Pip-Boy at the very beginning of the game. Especially since the only enemies we have are the Rad Roaches, and they never teach you to use Vats during the first five minutes of the game. The only people who are going to be using Vats during that period of the game are people who accidentally press the Vats key without knowing what it is, or people who have already played the game and are playing again and just wanted to see if Vats works before you get the Pip-Boy, right? Very small situation, so I understand why Bethesda didn't bother to go through and remove that game mechanic from the game during that period of time. It's, and this is something that I want to do a video about. I want to do a video about how to interpret lore in a flawed environment, because that's what games are. Games are flawed environments. We're supposed to suspend our disbelief to enter into a world and soak up the atmosphere, soak up the story and all of that, while we're watching guys walk into walls. Guys teleport onto rooftops and sort of just stand around and lumber around, right? Jet in pre-war containers. We see all of these weird things that pop us out of the uh, illusion. They, they, it's hard for us to suspend our disbelief when we're constantly watching these guys. Uh, like I was, I, I was 
doing my video on the Institute and I'm inside robotics and I'm trying to shoot footage of this really intricately designed dance of how the Institute creates synths. And it was so hard to capture footage because all of the scientists kept walking into the cranes and then the crane would go from one station to the next and push a scientist clear across the room. If you ever want to just cackle insanely, spend some time in the robotics lab inside the Institute because the cranes are constantly teleporting all of the other scientists across the room while they're creating synths because the stupid scientists are constantly walking into the cranes. And then it'll go from the skeletal station to the muscle station and just knock someone across the room. So, somebody who's dedicated solely to lore would have to say, huh, what is the lore reason behind the crane knocking that guy into the vat of pool? Why didn't he fall into the pool of epidermal effusion water that the synth was soaking in? Is there a reason for that? Maybe this is because he's really Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ could walk on water, and so maybe he's really this one scientist who is standing on the water. Maybe he's really Jesus Christ, right? We can't do that. Obviously, the reason the scientist didn't sink into the water is because he wasn't supposed to stand on it because he was never supposed to go there. The fact that he got sent there was because a crane knocked him into the water, and it's a glitch. It's a glitch. So we have to be able to use our deductive reasoning when interpreting lore. I'm doing my video on it right now. I should just be recording myself doing this. Uh, I, I need to do a video on this, right? There are, there are, we have to be able to interpret the lore of the, the, the intended lore of the story with the accidental lore of the story. The thing that complicates it is every now and then a game developer will put in an Easter egg or put in something that they really want you to find, but it's so subtly hidden that it's really easy to miss. And there we have to use our knowledge of your and our, our knowledge of lore and our deductive reasoning to be able to identify those points and not gloss over them as simply being part of a game mechanic that we're supposed to ignore. And that's part of it, right? There are things that we're just supposed to be blind to because that's part of the game mechanic that we're supposed to ignore. And we can't interpret it literally as lore. The Vats thing is one of them, right? The Soul Survivor is not a synth, and his ability to use Vats at the beginning of the game isn't evidence that he is a synth because of a terminal entry that we find in the Institute. It's just a game mechanic that we have to ignore and not interpret as lore. I gotta get into this game, but that's okay. Keep keep the, <laughs> keep the questions coming. Christopher Lowe, Lowe so where is it? hold on. Christopher says, um, I've played Brotherhood of Steel. A lore series would amount to one 30-minute episode. To be generous, lol. It doesn't feel like Fallout in any way, which is one of the reasons why I haven't covered it yet, but maybe I will in the, in the future. British Ronan says, Like to see lore vids on the many 76 factions also. I mean, there's a lot that I could do for Fallout 76. And maybe I will. Um, but this, my channel is a business. As much as I would love to be encyclopedic about the Fallout series, and I feel like I have been that way in many regards. I, I cover each detail ex in excruciating uh, length and with intense focus. But as much as I would love to do that for every aspect of Fallout, this is a business and I have to make money. And my Fallout 76 videos are hit and miss. Sometimes they do really well, like my, my 76 Vault videos do really well. Any Vault in Fallout 76 does really, really well. Sometimes I'll put a ton of time and energy into a, a Fallout 76 video and it just doesn't perform. And it's oftentimes that. Like my Mothman video, I thought it would do way better than it did. It didn't. Um, my series on Steel Rain and Steel Dawn, it did okay, but uh, not uh, as well as my Fallout 3 Metro series, right? Not as well as my Fallout Tactics series. So I got to kind of figure out um, if there's enough interest for me to continue with doing series on Fallout 76. But of course, there's plenty of content to do there. Uh, okay, uh, Sonny Victor says, Happy 2023. Go Ox, go to the max. Thank you, Sonny Victor. Nighthawk says, Hey Ox, just in case you need it, there is now a Fallout, uh, an FOV fix available via flawless widescreen. It was hard to tweak field of view at launch. Now it's as easy as installing flawless widescreen. Cheers. Okay, are you saying that, w what's the field of view at? Is it like 60? Because 60 is too small. If it's at 80 or above, I can play a game with that big of a field of view. Naughty Applejack says, uh, Hi, Oxhorn. Just a few more mouth to my three years I've been a sub, and I hope many years to go. By the way, I missed your stream. Sorry for my bad grammar. 
I'm not naughty, Applejack. Don't worry about it. A few more months until your three years that you've been a sub is what you're saying, and I appreciate it. I hear you. Naughty Applejack, you've been around for so long. It's so good to see you, my friend. Okay, let's dive into the game. Right, high on life. Let's play. Okay, where's my coffee? Warning, any glitches or bugs you may encounter are intentional satirical blah blah blah. Squanch games. In the year 2000, he saved Earth. Now he's back from retirement to save outer space. Fuck, Thunder. Two. Zeno Slaughter. Press any key to start. Okay, I love this. I mean, this is not the game I saw in the preview, but I'll take this. Let's play some Xeno Slaughter. Kate says, wishing you a healthy and happy 2023 from Boston. Thank you so much, Kate. Same to you, my friend. Cannabis Sewer says, hey, Ox, cheers to the new year and some new cigars. Thanks. I'm not smoking right now because I'm all out of cigars. I'm actually waiting for a shipment, and it should arrive any minute. I might actually get up from the computer to go get some cigars in just a second. We'll see. British Ronan says, Do you plan to make a series discussing how the lore in the upcoming Fallout TV show compares to the games or maybe making reviews on each episode? Yes and yes, I do plan. Gontro Dim says, Ox, now you did it. People will be expecting a video of suspension of disbelief versus lore, game mechanics and bugs. I'd like to see that. Love you, Ox. Yeah. I let the cat out of the bag and that's what happens. I need to do it. It'll happen. Give me a sec. Uh, by sec, I mean year. M maybe in a couple of years. We'll see. All right, press any key. Oh, my God. I'm using my freaking keyboard here. Settings. Oh. oh. Uh, subtitles. Text language default. Difficulty story mode. This is default? Normal mode. Hunter mode. Let's go to normal mode. Uh, yeah. Audio. Enemy chatter. Oh my god. Why do they do this? Frequent. Gun chatter. Frequent. Alright, so there's the settings that I can change later. Video mode. Oh, why? Graphics quality. Custom motion blur. Let's disable that. It's always bad for a, a broadcast. Okay, input settings. Okay, yes, thank you. Keyboard mouse bindings. We'll figure that out in controller. Don't need to worry about that. Back. New game. Normal mode. Can we have subtitles, says British Ronan? Yes, they should be on. Check, check, hello. Can you read me? Buck Thunder, Buck. Buck, oh, it's me, Phil, your divorce attorney. Welcome to Buck Thunder 2, Xeno Slaughter. Another Buck Thunder game. Your ex-wife is back and more evil than ever. She's sending a bunch of her new blood-sucking boyfriends out. So go shoot them. Just kill them all, Buck. That's, that's the game. Right, I'm not seeing subtitles. Enable. Why do they have to change? This is such a bad UI. I thought that that clicking this checkbox would disable them. I thought they were enabled by option, but no, you click the checkbox and the text changes to enable. It's like, Ugh. all right. All right, so uh, the ex-girlfriend's boyfriends, no, the ex-wife's boyfriends are coming to get us. Let's do this. Fuck, it's me, Phil, your divorce lawyer again. You remember how to move and jump and everything, right? There's shit on the screen that tells you how to do all that stuff. I mean, come on, Buck. This is the sec- All right, Buck, you're gonna have to use the brand new double jump to get over there. 
Oh shit, I'm sorry, Buck. I forgot there's no double <laughs> jump. Just crouch. We gotta try crouching, Buck. Fucking scheduling and scoping bullshit. A fucking crouch prioritized over a double jump. Who is this? Who, do, who are these people above us? All right, they forgot. All right, that's a good crouch, Buck. That's a good crouch. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Fucking scoping and scheduling bullshit. Fucking double jump. Not more important than a crouch. Who the fuck? <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm not going to rush through this because this apparently is the comedy. I can't wait. Okay. Well. Stay sharp, Buck. A bunch of your ex-wife's new alien boyfriends. There they are, coming right at you. Just shoot them, Buck. You remember how to shoot, don't you? Shoot, Buck. That's what I'm talking about, Buck. Kill those fuckers. You're the man. I love you, Buck. You're so fucking cool. Oh, I'm so excited and lit up to be your divorce attorney. You have no idea you're my favorite client. <laughs> Thank you, divorce attorney. All right, Buck, just open that door. It's so fucking easy. Just press the right button. This is just the tutorial part. It's easy. It's the easiest part, Buck. It's the beginning. Right. I'll press E. Yay. Oh, my God, Buck. You did it. You opened the door. You're a fucking genius. You are my favorite client. It's me, by the way, your divorce attorney. Don't forget, I'm Bill, the divorce attorney. Let's go. Let's get moving. Let's defeat your ex-wife. Oh, my God. Why is that so hard? Oh, you guys can jump up there, huh? Well, I don't get a double jump. Fuck Phil here, your divorce attorney. Let me fill you in on what's going on. An alien spaceship landed in your ex-wife's backyard. She fell in love with the leader, and it turns out they're all a hive mind, so she's fucking all of them. What are the odds? I know that's probably what you're thinking, but just get out there and kill them, Buck. It's all you can do. Over and out. Oh, why is it so hard? Yay! Mom and Dad, I'm playing too. Or no, Wolfram side. Are you gonna answer me or what? No. Coming in. You better not be doing anything weird in there. What would I be doing? That's weird, huh? Oh, come Why on. Why didn't you say goodbye to Mom and Dad before they left for their trip? You know they were pissed, right? Whatever. We got the place to ourselves now. Oh my god, don't give me that look, Nurk. What, are you mad that I'm throwing this party tonight? Oh dear, okay. Uh... <laughs> it's fine. Mom and Dad are gone for a whole fucking week. We can do whatever we want. Here, come on, try some. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know it's good for your depression, right? Is okay, YouTube we're gonna... totally gonna rage tonight. I cannot wait. I gotta text Jen and make sure she brings the good shit. Uh, did you know she almost got a DUI? Don't tell anyone. That is a secret, but everyone already knows. <laughs> it's really fucked up. Her parents took away her car, which sucks because we could fit two kegs in her trunk. I mean, whatever. I think Oliver's boyfriend has it covered, which, by the way, they are really not right for each other. Skylar saw them fighting in the Circle K last week, which I wish I was there because I love watching people people fight, but they don't know that. I mean, they do know, but we're acting like they don't know. But honestly, it's really obvious just from watching them. They don't even like each other. Right. You look weird. You can see that, right? Like, I'm not crazy. Holy shit, your face keeps changing. I, I think I took too much. Wow. <laughs> oh, finally, there you are. I felt like I was losing my mind. <laughs> so, do you want any or nah? Fine, more for me then. All right, I'm gonna go get ready for the party. This stuff's gonna last me all week. It is powerful. Oh my God, get out of this room, you crazy person. Oh, I've never been more annoyed. Okay, wow, this kid, he's got all sorts of cool stuff going on here. Ben Dead Zombie Originals, Space Elephant, nice, nice. New Sheriff. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Horror. This is like an AI generated version of Marilyn Manson with a mustache. God. Okay, the the darkening there. Mega wave. That is a mega wave. Mind ball two, made of steel. Oh crap, Alien 69, Nintendo Game Bro, the Nintendo Game Bro. Dump punk depression. Okay, ooh. That's it's it's like it's like artificial intelligence has revised some of the most famous That's supposed to be Kurt Cobain, isn't it? Super fat McDoomed. Nice. Can we listen to any of those hollow tapes? No. Behind the characters Cornhole Man. Okay, a Beavis and Butthead reference. Nice. Rock, um, Muddy Astro Pits, Punk Potty. Okay, we're getting some repeats here. Head Compers, Hot Dog Time Machine, Mega Dork 2, Super Dork 4, Toy Glory. Oh, God. I'm not going with that. Mind Nerd, Akira Hackers from Hell, and Meet the Fart Packs. Cool. Well, this kid's got an awesome room. Uh... Is there anything I'm supposed to be interacting with here? No? All right, let's go out of the room. Well, we got the whole place to ourselves, uh, but that means I'm stuck here with that crazy sister. Holy crap, she was the most annoying person ever. Aw, lovely family. We plunged down the gopher hole. <laughs> I mean, I mean... <laughs> Right, that's that's nice, that's super nice. Okay, oh, just go away. I don't want to talk to you. You're crazy. Mom told me I was in charge. She did it in secret so it wouldn't hurt your feelings. And Dad said that he flat out doesn't love you. It was actually pretty messed up. By the way, Mom left you a note on the fridge. Go read it. Then come meet me outside. I need your help grabbing party shit from the store. I mean. There's no way a cactus like this could survive in a living room. Mainly because they're actually pretty fragile and anyone accidentally bumping it causes it to collapse. I should know. I have been growing cacti. There's a lot. How are these cactuses here? There's no sun. Okay, these are fake plants is what that is. Ew. Oh, that's a family photo to remember. All right, uh... Mom left you a note on the fridge. Go read it. I'm working on I'm I'm taking a look at the art in this living room. So we're like in Arizona or something. Alright, we'll go to the fridge. I can't open any of these doors, can I? There's the microwave. Okay, here's the note. Hello, sweetheart. It would have been nice if you'd have come downstairs to say goodbye to your father and I before we left. We hope you know we love you very much, but we can't keep supporting you if you're just going to sit around playing video games all day. You should follow Lizzie's example. You come in or what? She already got accepted into three great schools. I really hope you can get your act together. Why don't you figure out a plan before we get back? Love, Mom. I mean, she's a, a coke fiend and she's gotten accepted by three schools? That's actually... Come awesome. on. I don't want to care... Can you just chill out, sister? I just, I don't like you. And Wow. This is the art they chose for their home? Okay. See that every day. Live, love, cluck. Hello. That's adorable. Did you hear me? Let's go to oh, the store. Just shut up. Okay, let's go. We got pink flamingos and everything. So, I guess... Holy shit! Okay. What the fuck? Get down and stay quiet. Oh dear. I knew aliens were real. Hey, the bullet die, ah, the what they're saying? Oh shit, look. It's Mr. Pilfrey. He's got that, um, what's it called? Uh, dementia. Uh, what's going on out here? Martha, 
Is that you? Oh my god! Oh my god! What did they just do to Mr. Pilfrey? <laughs> what? Hola! What the fuck is going on? Cho, Machiza, wanna go? What was that? You want the tanda? Ula ba kiwa na kanga ma. Oh, dawe ya, so no matter the love she. Oh. Asta ta ba wa. Isa, what you got? Wuhan. Oh, we got it. How did you have a day? Oh, I know my nonsense. How did you have a day? Oh, did that thing just spit all Finally. Over you? Oh my god, finally I'm free. Thank god. What a nightmare. Listen, can you pull the inhibitor chip out of me? It's the metal thing stuck in me. Just pull it out. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, that feels so much better. Thank you. Yeah, sorry about the spit. I I, I needed to get you infected with the translator microbes. That, that, that's sort of how it works. I guess you guys don't have those here yet. Listen, my name's Kenny. I'm a Gatlian. Uh, we we gotta kind of we gotta oh, move. What is it? Is it talking to you? Maybe we should go back to the Ignore house. her. It's very important that you listen to everything I say. Okay, it is your lucky day right now. We can survive this together if you just listen to me. These three guys are going to turn your whole species into drugs. Can you handle a gun? Because, you know, I'm kind of a gun, and if you don't use me to kill those G3 grunts, you know, they're going to fucking kill us. Okay. Pyro says, when the gun tells you to shoot, press escape. Oh. Okay. What the fuck? You just paused the game. This doesn't help at all. Are you an idiot? Everyone knows pause button. In what fucking game is the pause button shoot? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to like this game. Uh, can I? Do you really not know what button to press? You, you just keep hitting buttons. Triggers. All of them. You, one of them's going to make me shoot. No, I'm not shooting this one. But I really want her dead. Try pressing anything. Go nuts, smash them all. Is this your first? Fuck yeah, there we go. Uh, you go on ahead. I I'm going to stay hidden. Then maybe try to sneak back to the house. Stop trying to kill everyone. Jesus. I want this one dead. All right, fine. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is what the all right, first kill. I am so glad you picked me up. Well, let's keep going. Let's go. Not bad at all. Let's head to that base. Fuck, we got a warp base coming in. Whoa. Oh, here you go. It's a G3 warp base. Okay, let's just clean house and warp out of here. Nice. You, you, you know, you had to kill them, right? It was either them or you. Oh, shit, it's a monster. They're tougher. It's letting human into the base. I'm going to decline your own. All right, so they're tougher. Okay, the warp drive should be at the top. That's where it always is and shit like this. Just keep going. Keep going up to the top. Right, okay, yeah, but shit, we lost them. Do I stop for lore? Is there, like, anything to loot? Is there any loot at all? Do I worry about loot? I guess not. Okay, up top we go. Now grab the warp drive. We'll use this to warp the hell off this doomed planet. Sorry, no offense. I don't mean to upset you, but yes, the planet is doomed right now. <laughs> right now, he says. Okay, listen, don't worry about the beeping. The beeping's fine. It's just, it's gonna blow up soon. We just need to plug this thing into power. Do, do you have something back in your house? That, you know, do you live in one of these huts around here? Ah. Take us there, because we gotta move. We gotta move, move, move. Yeah, 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 okay. Hand the corner. This is my chance. Listen, bring me up close to your face, you can aim at her. Perfect, perfect. Down the sights and fire. You're doing great, but I'm going to 
supposed to be. I've been chosen. Oh, I'm proud of you. The talking crazy. You're looking just crazy here. Do you need some more encouragement? Oh, you're okay. my little G3 killer. Oh, look at you, G3 killer. <laughs> <laughs> No cover. I know it's a lot to ask. What? Like a fucking microwave? Oh, whoa. I can understand your gun now. Translator microbes, they're contagious, but can please just move past all this shit? Don't look <laughs> at me. I don't know what's going on. All right, catch him. Microwave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Microwaves, right? So go to the microwave then. Okay. That works. So. Oh, thank God it works. Okay. It, 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 it's just going to need a second to boot up. My name is Gondantrus, leader of the G3 cartel. Don't resist. Any attempts to fight us will be futile. Crazy. You are now officially the property of the G3 cartel. Oh. Alright, it's go time. Let's get out of here. Wait, get out of here? Where are we going? To find somebody who can help. You ever been to the big city? Because you're about to, except that it's a space city. Oh it's a no! Huge space city, and you're gonna be out of your element. And you better just follow my lead. <laughs> what? And you're what gonna be out happened? of your element. Looks like we made it. Welcome to Blim City. Did you just warp our entire house to another planet? Yeah, keep up. We'll be safe here. Now take me outside. Whoa, whoa! You're just gonna leave me here in in what space? Are we are we in space? Yeah, like, sorry. Awful. I know you're a bit shaken up, but you'll be fine. It's better than getting enslaved by the G3. Trust me. I guess that's true. How the hell are we going to get back to Earth? Uh, we can't. That was a one-way trip. We don't have the coordinates to your planet. Then what about our parents and everyone else? Look, we left because we're trying to save them. That, that, that's why we need Gene. So, so can we please go find him? Stuck with her. Of all people to be stuck with. Okay. You're going out there? Into space? Yeah! Welcome to fucking space! Nice. So this is Blim City. Not not bad, huh? I don't know how we're gonna find Gene though. Let's just ask around. There's all kinds of aliens out here. Let's just let's just ask. He he is famous. Okay, well we just plopped down in the middle of the city. I'm sure we can leave our house here and it'll be fine. Gat says, oh great, it's the boar. Well, if they assimilated some weird goo aliens. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting Futurama vibes from this. This is great. Okay, what's this? Uh, fresh plop poppers. Oh, that sounds delicious. Do we really want to try plop poppers? Can Listen, we we're going to have to talk to some of these aliens if we expect to find Gene. All right. Are you, are you going to talk to me this entire time. I want to explore right now, but okay. Let's go talk to somebody. I can't interact with any of this anyway. Oh, wow. What's this? Little... Uh, somebody around here has got to know where Gene Zeruthian is. This is... Let's just keep asking. Hello. Nice outfit. Right, I can't talk to him. Crust Lord. Hi. Love the outfit. Okay, well, I, I apparently I'm not supposed to be here just Listen, yet. I know you're in a big new alien city and it's very exciting, oh. I, I, I get it. But we really gotta stay focused and find Gene. 
There's someone there. Okay, fine. Whatever. Uh, I'll go find Jean. I probably have to go back there later anyway. Hello. Yeah, we can't get inside that lug locks without something really sharp. A lug locks? What's a lug locks? We need something really sharp. Okay. Uh, okay, so Gene. Who's Gene? Hey, we're looking for Gene Zaruthi and the bounty hunter. Any idea where he might be? Who? N no. Do you know how many freaking people live here? And you expect me to know this, this guy? No. Oh, no, of course not. Okay, not everyone's gonna be helpful. Can I shoot him? Hey, I, I think we can take a quick break from killing. You know, it, it's not gonna kill you. Guess not. <laughs> All right, what's this? You're gonna need something like a knife to open those. What is that? Is that a... Oh. Okay, this isn't going so well, but j let's keep asking around. We'll find something, I, I swear. Hey, well, don't shoot the hook bug. That's probably somebody's pet. Oh. Okay, so I can shoot them, but I shouldn't. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi. Yeah. Where the hell is he? Blimp City's always been his headquarters, you know? Gene. We can't give up. Gene Zaruthian. Oh, over there on that billboard. That's Gene Zaruthian. Strong and heroic. Just got to keep an eye out for a guy that looks just like that. That's him. Uh, isn't that an actor, though? Does this gun think that the actor is real? Gene Zaruthian. All right, let's go find him. Hey, uh, we're looking for Gene Zaruthian. I'm not sure. Maybe you could help? Oh, I wish I knew where he was. He owes me like 300 pesos. Huh, that doesn't sound like Gene Zaruthian to me. So peso is a form of currency here? Excuse me, do you have any idea where Gene Zaruthian is? What? That's my name. I'm Gene Zaruthian. But why would you... Oh, wait. You're probably thinking of the famous bounty hunter with the same name as me. Sorry. I'm just some loser accountant. Oh, man. Oh, that's not good. O okay. We can't open those yet. We're, we're going to need something sharp. This guy is just a chatty guy. All right. Well, we can't find Gene, Gene Zaruthian yet. Okay, Let's... God. Someone has to know where Gene is. Keep looking, I guess. Hey, excuse me, does the bounty hunter Gene Zaruthian live around here? The bounty hunter Gene Zaruthian? <laughs> uh, you must be confused. Uh, please go. What did you mean by that? What? It's an actor, isn't it? Reading is for morons. Don't read. That's nice. Clug for mayor. I think drugs are very bad. Clug McNugman. <laughs> You can't shoot these open. You, you gotta have something to cut them open, you know? I'm finding all this loot and I can't loot. I hate that. Why do they give me loot if I can't loot? Portal. Right, well, this is a dead end. Okay, so. Well, let's find another path to take. Oh. Unauthorized warp detected. Blem City Plaza is under temporary lockdown. Uh oh. Shit, I guess that's our fault, huh? Let's just try looking around here for now. Hey, well, don't shoot the hook bug. That's probably somebody's pet. I can't kill it. All right, so part of the city is locked down. I went that way, and it's not that way. So I guess we go this way. Don't even think about going down to the slums. Yeah, this is a maintenance only shaft, so scram. Oh man, maintenance only. That leads to the slums. And those guys have a wonderful life, being stuck there forever. Okay, and uh, presumably we can't go here. All right, so I gotta find Gene Zaruthian in this one small area. I've already talked with everybody walking around. Sorry, shot in the dark here, but are you familiar with the Gene Zaruthian? Hmm? Oh yeah, he's he's homeless. He's sleeping on a bench right nearby. I just walked past him earlier. I'm really glad I could be so helpful. What? Really? Okay, well, thank you so much. 
Shit, he's homeless? He's on a bench? Oh my god! Uh, hello? Get away! They'll take my shit! Oh my god! I it can't be! What do you want? Y you're not the famous bounty hunter Gene Zaruthian, are you? Who's asking? You're you're really Gene. Yeah, I'm really Gene. That's me, like on the ads. Disappointed? Guess how I feel. Uh, okay, well, whoopsies. <laughs> we were gonna ask for your help fighting the G3 cartel, but... Kid, do I look like I can help anyone? I just got evicted. I don't even have a goddamn hoe! Can, can you point us in the direction of, you know, a, a, a bounty hunter friend that's still working, you know, still has their legs? <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at that nice house. God damn. Where'd that come from? That's a great fucking house. You see that house? Huh? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, th that's this hairy alien's house, the one holding me. Ah, damn. Can't stop looking at that beautiful house. Uh, yeah, okay. The gears are turning. Maybe I can help you. You, you don't can, have legs. But you just said. Maybe the. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I said I'd help you fight the. Who, who'd you say? The, the G three cartel. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on, that's crazy. But okay, well, whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll kill them all. Easy. <laughs> I've got a fully operational bounty suit in my cart over there. Really? Well, that's that's convenient. Yeah, I can turn that hairy kid of yours into a true blue bounty hunter. But if they die. I want the house. That's the trade. Are you sure? I don't think they've even fired a gun before today. And and wait, wait you, you want the house in return? Yeah. This is a great deal for you. I mean, you get all my old bounty hunter shit and I might get a house. Uh, I don't know. Enough talking. J just be a gun for a second. You, hairy kid, put on the suit. See how you feel. Then make a decision, yeah? I can always just pawn this shit off. Okay, g go ahead. Try it on. What choice do we have? Okay, well, I got a super suit. Wow, you look great, kid. A natural. <laughs> Definitely not gonna die on your first bounty. Oh, All right, uh, I guess we'll give it a shot, but I, I don't know about this. Activation key. Oh, yeah, shit. It's still in trial mode. I pawned off the activation license. <laughs> the ticket should be in one of your pockets. Some loose change, too. Should be enough. Take that down to Mr. Keep's pawn shop and he'll get you all set up. The suit will help you get there. Hey there, Gene Zaruthian. It's me, Sudo, your helpful God. bounty hunting assistant. Before I enable mobility, I just need to make sure your info scanner is online. Can you go ahead and give the area a quick scan for me? Press T to use your info scanner. Okay, perfect. Great job. I've identified your current objective. Head on down to Mr. Keep's pawn shop. Can you see the waypoint? Yes, I can. I'd love to be able to Perfecto walk. Mundo. Everything is in working order. Mobility unlocked. You are free to move, Gene. Thank you. All right. I'll get things set up at your house while you're gone. Oh my god, I'm getting spammed. Uh Hold on, I've got... I press I for inventory. No mods, upgrades, items. Uh, bounty suit, license, pawn ticket. Gene gave you a bounty suit, but it's in trial mode. You're gonna need to get the license key back from Mr. Keep's pawn shop in order to get rid of all of these ads. I've got a scanning visor. It's easy to become disoriented on a bounty mission, so don't forget to use your scanner to get your bearings. Maybe you'll find something cool, like treasure. Or maybe you'll find some enemies you can shoot at until they're dead. Basically, anything is possible with your scanner, as long as it's finding treasure or enemies. Then we've got the bounty suit. Bounty hunting has never been easier. Asterix. Or safer. Double asterix. Bounty hunting is still extremely difficult. Bounty hunting is still extremely dangerous. Thanks to your trusty bounty suit. And we finally learn the name of our gun here. His name is Kenny. This is Kenny, a Gatlian. You know him. He belongs to a race of living weapons that resemble talking guns. You rescued him from the G3 cartel when they invaded your home planet. But come on, you know all this, right? I don't need to remind you. You know this. You should stop reading this. <laughs> I'm going to really like this. Warp Discs. 
Upgrades and mods. All right, cards. Let's see. Well, I'm sure we'll probably, this will make sense to us later. Forums? Access restricted. Hunter forums, combat tactics and strategies. The only section of the forums to discuss combat tactics and bounty hunting strategies. What is this? Hunter forums? Rules, read before posting. We strictly enforce the following rules. If you think they are unacceptable, go elsewhere. When these forums are for bounty hunting discussions only, if you're not here to discuss bounty hunting, you should leave now. To respect your fellow members, treat them as you would like to be treated. Do not dox them, hunt them down in real life, and kill them. Three, avoid personal attacks, petty arguments, harassment, baseless hearsay, and blatant lies. Also avoid toot slug six. They are known to troll. For don't post anything illegal, political, religious, bigoted, sexually explicit, or honestly, just anything even a little annoying. Five, do not join the forums if you aren't a registered bounty hunter. If you're not accessing the forums through a bounty suit, you will be banned. Six, do not spam, i.e. do not make pointless, useless posts to raise your post count. Seven, do not post one-word replies like, wow, or cool, or screw you, asshole. Eight. Good spelling, grammar, punctuation, and capitalization is strongly encouraged. The admin and moderators reserve the right to alter these rules at any time. If you agree to all of the above, you are welcome here. Okay, let's just head to Mr. Keeps, I guess. Windshield system message, genuine error. Oh, God. Oh, more ads. Poly Mega because it grows teeth ten times faster. Doctor, Ooh, oops, sorry about all those pop-ups. I forgot to warn you about that. Um, you can close them with the interact button, but they are going to keep coming back nonstop. Uh, oh. That's just going to keep happening until you activate the license. Sorry, you better hurry up. You, you're yeah, able to see okay? It. No! Sorry, I, I didn't expect Gene to be like that. How do I find the pawn shop? I can't see it. That got thing. Ah, get the freaking ads. Get up the st freaking st stupid ads. Get off of there. Over here. Stop it with the ads. Where's the pawn shop? There's the pawn shop. I think Mr. Keep is just ahead. You you got this. Well, what? It's sending me here. Oh, what kind of I bounty see. hunting equipment Gene is setting up for us, huh? It's kind of exciting, you know, sort of. It could be cool. There it is. Mr. Keeps and Son, buy, sell, pawn. Oh my god, these ads. What's up, freak? Jorb, greet the customer properly. Welcome to Mr. Keeps, dipshit. We're your friendly neighborhood pawn shop. Buy something or don't, nobody even cares. Jorb! I'm so sorry, Jorb is insane. Come on up to the counter, let me help you out. Right, I got a problem. It's pop-up ads. Oh, so old Zaruthian doesn't feel like pawning his license key anymore. What? Did he win the sweepstakes? Ha! Okay, so you want this license key. But, but it's really nice. I kind of want it for myself. You've got enough useless shit, Dad! Fine, take it! It's yours! Okay, fuck yeah! Activation license accepted. Bounty hunting suit is in perfect working order. Time for an important question. Would you like to keep me on as your permanent in-suit advisor? Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I gotta find out what this guy says, so... Yes? Oh, yes or of course. But wait, which, which one is... Yes or of course? Of course. That was the best choice you could have made. All right, bye-bye now. I'll be back a bunch. <laughs> Whoa, not no. bad. It's got your vital readings, armor levels, even my biometrics. Gene really came through, didn't he? I told you he'd be great. Perfect. Just what this galaxy needs. Another good-for-nothing bounty hunter. Out of my star! Okay, well, we can meet Gene at the house now. Discover one location in town. Holy cow. Let's see. Um... System. Last checkpoint settings. Okay, cards. No cards. Forums. I'm really... Okay, Blim City Banter. 
general discussions about Blim City, the Blim City slums, and anything else around town. Rules. Okay, hold on. Anything new in downtown Blim? Yo, back in Blim City for the first time in a minute, hunting down a primo bounty, and I got some time to kill. What's the local hotspot these days? How about your ass? What the frick? Didn't they ban Toot Slug? Doesn't it ban your entire bounty suit? Did he buy a whole nother suit just to be a tit online? <clears throat> Take it from a born and bred, uh, bred bl Blimanite, Blim City is a cultural wasteland of historical proportions. Oh sure, it might look nice on the surface with its mid-tempo soundtrack and hip advertising <clears throat> and beautiful women, it must be said, but its soul is rotten. Get out while you can. Uh, yeah, thanks for pointlessly reliving your angsty teen years at Blim City Bomba. Maybe if you whine more, your nuts will finally drop. Like I said, I'm here doing bounty work, not trying to buy property. And here's Toot Slug 6 again. You are trying to suck a farts, phallus. Uh, shut the heck up, Toot Slug 6. I'm tired of your ass, and then there is no ass in this universe that you are tired of. Okay. Wow, that was productive. I feel dirty now. Okay, no new posts. Discover one location in the slums to unlock that. Then discover one hint about Dr. Gurgula. All right, more rules. We didn't finish this, did we? No, we did. We finished all of that. Okay, so... Combat. Get five melee kills. Hand-to-hand -hand combat thread. Oh, my God. It's a shame how many men fancy themselves mercenaries, yet if you look away their shiny or took away their shiny toys would be as helpless as un petit bebe. These uh, bites in metal serve as a crutch for weak souls. La culture des armes à feu teaches boys to make noise and shout rather than learn les bonnes méthodes. These homes stupidities never experience the crack of bone beneath their fists, the wet mash des entrelles upon their epi. They can only do bang bang from a distance. Pathetic. Tootslug6 says, didn't read. The Zumzo method says, what's everyone's favorite martial art? Mine is the Zumzo method. Send me a direct message and I'll let you in on the secret. Preble says, does punching count? Mr. Stick says, my favorite martial art is screw a screw and huge gun. Screw this stupid thread and screw Retro Vasse for calling me un petit bebe. I am not whatever the hell that is. I'm a big man. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I should probably pace myself here. I could read all of this and just have a really good time. But I think I'll, I'll get through this slowly over time. Can I talk with the kid? Have a look around. We got some good stuff for sale, but not everything. Some of it is mine. Okay, so how do I interact with the... Oh. Crystal how, uh, of Ikathes. Oh, God, I can't believe I'm starting a conversation with Jor, but uh, how's school, Jor? Ain't none of your business, dipshit. Oh, come on now. Is that so wrong that I want to know more about my son's life? Fine, you want to know how school is? You really want to know what your son did today? <sighs> we had to dissect some baby Swedes in biology class, and I named mine after you, father. I said, this little Swain is named Mr. Cape, just like my dad, and I'm going to rip him apart with this scalpel. I'm going to take out each orchid one by one and lay them all out on a metal tray that's not even comfortable, and I label them all. This is Mr. Keep's heart. This is Mr. Keep's bleed. Stuff like that. And then I'm going to put it all back together and do a little makeshift voodoo doll that looks like you. And I'm going to take it home and flush it down the toilet. And then I did all that. And now the toilet at home is clogged and Bob had to call a plumber to clear up the pipes. Just gillings of shit stuck in pipes because it couldn't get past the little Mr. Keep voodoo doll and made hold of dead sweet organs. That's what I do at school, father. 
Jesus, fuck! Well, that explains why I smelled like shit the other day. Oh, God. <clears throat> Discover two locations downtown. A crystal Fort of Ithicles. Five for one. They're stinking everywhere. All right, so this is the shop. Okay, backpack. Found unattended at a public transit stop. Whatever's making the mysterious ticking noise inside is yours to keep. Hold the buy. Hey, customer, you're ugly. Jorb, what's wrong sale. with you? Why did your mother do this to you? You can't stop me from being me, Dad. You're grounded. Wrong. Try me. I'll just listen to porn at max volume until you let me out of my room. And it's not porn you like. Nice try. Okay. That wouldn't bother me. I'm All right, bounty hunter. I guess let's head back to the house and check in with Gene. You'll find it. You'll figure it out. Hey, you can run, you know. You, you, I don't know if you do that. Try hitting the button on your screen. I, I, I can't say the name of the button because I have no fucking clue what kind of controller or keyboard you're using. Well, look at that stamina. You, you must have been on track team or something. What? We've added you to our complimentary messaging bowl messenger? I thought they removed all of the pop-ups. Have a nice day, Jorb. Ah. Oh, thank there we go. Oh, what are these guys doing? Are they going huh, there's, there? there's little guys coming out of your house. That, okay. Right. Oh, God. British Ronin says, I feel like Veronica and that guy would get along. I think so, too. Padre says, Ox, buy the drum. Okay, well, when I get more money, I'll head back and buy the drum. Oh, blood. Oh, please, dear God, does this tell me that my sister's dead? Please tell me that my sister's dead. Oh, what happened here? Oh, man, she's still alive. Hey, nice house you got here. Real ritzy. Way better than my bench. Oh, wow, you really made yourself at home, huh? Oh, there you are. Who's this weirdo, and why is he setting up a fucking huge alien computer in our living room? Okay, first of all, that alien computer is a very expensive and surprisingly operational Bounty 5000. So, uh, you're welcome. A what 5000? Your kid here thinks they're going to be a big bad bounty hunter. I set them up with some fancy equipment, so they're letting me have the house when they die. Kid? They're not my kid. I'm their sister. How old do you think I am? Listen, hairball, I don't know what kind of alien you are or how fast you age. I'm just making my best guesses here. You were only gone five minutes, and you already told some random alien he could move in with us. That's what you did. Look, I know it's a lot all at once, but we need him to save your species. So do you think you could put up with him for a bit? Well, yeah, if it's going to help, sure. I'm sorry. Everything I've ever known just got flipped upside down. So I don't know what's weird or not anymore. Hey, I, I don't like getting up to take shit. So I'm just going to shit right here in the couch later. I don't have to shit right now, but just a heads up. Like that. Was that weird or was that normal? It was weird, right? It was weird. Your mom's nice. Anyway. Come talk to me when you're ready to get down to business. Oh, God. Wizardly Fiend says they cleaned up the guy the girl killed and they pooped everywhere and destroyed your floors, lol. Yeah, yeah, there was, uh, that's right, the body. Oh, right, the little guys, they pooped everywhere. Ew, is that what this is? Is that why they were farting when they were walking out? Oh, they had just done a poop. Oh. Look at all of this poop. They pooped everywhere. Oh, that's right. They had to drag this big machine in here, so they scratched up the floors. Well, let's talk to Gene. What is he watching? Oh, God. What is he wa- Ew. Is this- Is this what I- Ah, oh, what are you watching? So what, we just jump into the deep end and start hunting down G3 officers, or, or what? I'm not sure you're ready just yet. I mean, they don't let you fuck the glumpers at Glumpies without a level 4 fuck pass, do they? Uh, what? I, uh, I don't know. Well, they don't. Maybe I should send you out on a little test run first, eh? Uh, okay, sure. I've got just the thing. A small-time local gangster by the name of Nine Torg. 
She took my favorite knife. She's got an operation out in the slums. Maybe you kill her and get my knife back. <laughs> then we'll talk. Maybe take you out to Glumpy's to celebrate. All right, so we, we just head out to the slums? No, moron. You gotta use the Bounty 5000 to initiate a bounty. That's what I went through all the trouble of setting it up for. Okay, Jesus. Okay, use the bounty. So we get our knife back and then we can open up loot. I'll do that. All right, bounty 9000. You're gonna use... Bounties, Nine Torg, Blim City. Torg family matriarch commands a small-time crime family who claims the Blim City slums as their turf, constantly stuck in a power struggle with her own clones. Don't underestimate her. Reward a thousand credits, whatever that is. Accept bounty. Yes. Yes. Shit. Portal. Normally that door would open up a gateway that lets you walk right through it. So what do we do? Calm down. The bounty's right here in Blim. You mind just heading out on foot? The slums gateway ain't too far from here. I'll get the bounty 5,000 all fixed up while you're gone. Yeah, sure. All right, l let's go, bounty hunter. Okay, well, we're gonna go kill this, uh, this... Oh. Oh. This, uh, what? It's pig what now. Confused? This ain't warp science, kid. Go head out to the city, get into the slums, kill Nine Torg, and get my goddamn knife back. I mean, I, I am a little confused. Ah, that again. <laughs> I'm gonna be scarred for life. Hey, are you okay? Uh, so bounty hunting, huh? Are you really going to kill people? Actually, we, we've killed a couple people already, you know? And so did you. So soon we forget. Fine, I <laughs> guess I'll just hang around at home and wait for you to do all your little murders. Are you mad at us or jealous? Uh, jealous? I want to kill evil aliens, too. <laughs> Go ahead, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Maybe I'll go see what the drinking age is here in space. I'm in it. Oh, God, it's just. Jesus, what is just go that already. supposed to be? I can't fix this thing with you watching me. Well, what are you watching in my living room, dude? This, what is this crazy thing? Christopher Cardillo says, this seems a little hardcore for Oxhorn Law. Do you want me to hold your hand? Jeez. Kids these days. Well, I think we're just gonna walk away from whatever that is. Don't forget to get my knife! Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. We're looking for the knife. gateway to the slums, I guess. Look, it shouldn't be too far. Listen, just follow the waypoint. That's why you're wearing that fancy suit, yeah. isn't it? I mean, it's, it's got the augmented reality thing on it, right? Yeah, we found the entrance to the slums earlier. I have heard your concerns. Murder rates are on the rise. The city's water supply has clearly been poisoned again by Gary the Poisoner. And the mandatory sexual <laughs> repression chips that we put in our elderly citizens have once again <laughs> backfired, this time making them far, far hornier than ever. However, there's something plaguing our city far worse than any of those issues. Cold, hard drugs. These figures don't lie. However, things don't have to be this way. As chancellor, under my five-year plan, all drugs will be eradicated. And that's the Klugnugman promise. Thanks to our new Keep Blim City Clean initiative, we managed to keep drugs like Fergals and Space Meth out of the hands of our extremely horny geriatrics. <laughs> no criminal organizations like the G3 cartel have been able to sow their evil seeds in our fair city. For now, remember, we're all in this together. No matter how many surveillance drones we purchase, we simply cannot be everywhere at once. Which is why we need you to tell us if you see anything suspicious. Remember our catchy slogan, If you see something, please quickly report it to one of many service representatives stationed all across town. Every report you file against your family and neighbors earns you clug bucks, which can be exchanged for fabulous prizes. So keep an eye out. Only you can help us build a better, safer blim. Paid for by the Coalition to Re-Elect Clug Nugman. Hello, citizens. I'm Blim City Magistrate Clug Nugman, and I have heard your concerns. Murder rates are on the rise. The city's water supply has clearly right, well, that been was hilarious. again by Gary the Poisoner. And the mandatory sexual right, so the slums are over that there. we put in our elderly citizens have once again backfired, this time making them Which... far, far hornier than ever. 
Okay, so that's where we need to go to get to the slums. Uh, let's go back to the shop, because I was told to get a drum. And then someone in chat said to check the phone by the shop. Is there a phone by the shop? You got problems right, making the decisions drum? or what, stupid? Loot box. Deflated volleyball. Wow, this is really expensive bounties. Where's the drum? I can't even see. A drill box, not for sale. Dentures. I could buy dentures. A cyclops helmet. There's the drum. I can't afford it. Now, you don't look like the type that can afford something like this. No window shopping, you hear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll be back when I got yeah, more money. Yeah, that's right. Don't buy anything. Colin Chandler became a bronze ox. Thank you, Colin Chandler. I don't see a phone near to here. All right, so we'll take the opportunity to read one more item on the forum here, just so that we can get through everything in a uh, in a decent manner. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, we read that one. Here's the official new gun chat thread. Reposting after the last one got locked. Welcome to the new gun chat thread. What guns are you using these days? Reminder to keep it civil. And here's Crapstorm. Great. Thank you, Kevinator. Now, as I attempted to explain in the previous gun chat thread, in fact, I was writing my response the very moment Dark Ultra God deleted the entire thread, which I profoundly disagree with for multiple reasons, the basic truth behind all weaponry is technique. Users of this forum would do well to educate themselves on Dr. War's principle of armed combat, which at a mere 80 pages is practically a pamphlet, which makes the case quite convincingly that even the most powerful weapons have little impact on success metrics if the underlying technique is lacking. And this forum is definitely not lacking in noodle-armed bozos with big bank accounts who think they can just order the most expensive gun on Blasters Express and go bounty hunting. Many of you haven't even mastered a basic si slide maneuver, which is essential for getting close enough to actually fire your weapons. And here's RhombusGuy99. Crapstorm is right. Personally, I always slide real close and then blast the hell out of those suckers or I suck them in close with my vacuum gun and cut their heads off with my void whip, which is a bull whip made out of dark matter, by the way. So it's insanely powerful. Man, they have just captured the vibe of any online community forum that I have ever been a part of. That's amazing. All right, let's uh, let's go to the slums. Go into the slums so we can get a knife so we can actually loot. Hey, uh, Kitka, excuse me, can we get our, uh, we need to make our way into the slums, please? No. Hold on. So you really want to get into the slums, huh? Then settle the bet for oh, us. Come on, come on. Don't, don't, don't make him answer this no, round. I want to know. It's fine. We'll, we'll help. Okay, great. If you saw us at the bar, which of us would you ask out? Neither of you, the blue one, the red one, I don't want to answer. Well, if I had to choose, I guess I would go blue. Let's go blue. Uh, the blue guy. Exactly. That's what I figured you'd say. Yeah, everyone always says him. Hey, don't feel bad, man. You're still plenty hot. I'm just hotter. Blue's a hotter color. That's that's science. I know. I know. I know. I just I just wish one time someone would say I'm hotter. You know, I put so much work in. I watched all those skin care tutorials, and I got surgery, so I don't have to poop anymore. That's the ah! problem. It should be effortless. Everyone can sense all that desperation, all the sadness. It's just radiating from you. But me, I'm just true blue, all natural hot, baby. Is it true? Am I, am I just really a lost cause? Be honest. Oh, oh, okay, we gotta be honest here. Uh, that's right, blue's hotter, or actually red's hotter. Um, let's, let's rub it in. We, we gotta rub it in. We've gone this far. Yeah, you, you can't match up to the blue guy. Look, I'm sorry. That's just how it is. God, you don't have to be so blunt about it. I, I'm pretty fragile, you know? Don't worry about him. He's weak and disgusting. He doesn't get what it's like for us hot people. <laughs> sorry for making you talk to him. 
Can I uh, make it up to you by letting you use my door anytime you want? Free passage in and out of the slum. Well, really? That, that would be amazing, actually. Oh, oh, have fun using his door, because mine's shut forever for you. Yeah. So what do you think now, huh? You still think I'm ugly? Oh, yeah, well, you, I, I'm ugly, but I have a door you can't use. Oh, sorry. Really? But I guess it's fine. You can use, just use the other door. <laughs> I feel so bad. Poor Red. You were smart as hell to pick me. You got great taste. Please, I just need to be left alone for a bit. <laughs> okay. I mean, I think we handled that as best we could, you know? I mean, yeah, both doors lead God, to exactly the same place. By. Keep it up, playboy. All right, let's go. Head to the slums. Poor Red. We just devastated that guy. I mean, it doesn't look like they could move or go anywhere, so. Oh, is that a chicken head? Oh, dear God. I bet it's a warning. Exactly what sort of substance are we shooting with our gun? How how exactly does an alien um, talking gun organism work? Like what part of the alien is coming out of the gun? I've never been topside. Oh lord. Discover one location in the oh, slums. Oh, it's a topsider. Not interested. Hey, oh my god, I broke my fucking leg coming down that pipe. Be oh, careful. Sorry to hear that. Oh, he did, he did, he broke his leg. Can we help him? Oh my god, I guess not. He's just sitting there with his broken leg. <laughs> He's just like, oh yeah, broke my leg. <laughs> tough, tough luck, guy. Right. Well, well, <laughs> look what we got here. Fresh meat. Hey there, fresh meat. Welcome to the slums, fresh meat. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go, fucking kid. What's wrong, fresh meat? You scared of a little kid? Ah, yeah, I'm a little kid. Look at me. Look at me. Ah, you scared of me? Oh, I'm scary. Not. <laughs> well, maybe I am. <laughs> Look at me. I'm scary. No, we just want to get past. Come on, let's see what you got, fresh meat. If you can't handle me, how are you gonna deal with nine Torgs goons? Don't let them get to you. <laughs> Look at fresh meat. Flustered by a little kid. Just ignore him. That suit looks dumb. You look like a fucking d d uh, dumb idiot. <laughs> Does that make you mad? I bet it pisses you off. I bet you're pissing your pants just thinking about it. Cause I would be like I have in the past. Hey! hey shit for brains! I can tell you want to shoot me. Do it! I bet you're fucking. Not falling coward. for it. I'm not I can falling see it for in it. Your eyes. Fresh meat, you actually want to shoot good the city citizen. You are wearing an unregistered bounty. Shit, shirt. we gotta take Prepare down these drones. Oh shit, fresh meat. Bounty hunting is illegal down here. Didn't you know that? They're after you. They're out. Oh, am I supposed to be impressed? You shot all the drones? I could have done that with my eyes closed. Stop it, kid. Yeah. Fresh meat. Huh. <sighs> Item obtained. Dura Shield pickup. Your bounty suit will automatically regenerate your vitals after being damaged. DuraShield pickups can be dropped by enemies and will give your suit some bonus protection on top of your normal health. Wizardly Fiend says you don't want that information. Yeah, I mean, if, it, if the gun is an alien life form and it's shooting ammunition, th that brings up a lot of really disturbing questions. Padre says it's coming for us, Ox. Quick, shoot it. All right, I killed the drones, but I'm not going to shoot this kid. I'm not going to kill kids in video games. How many times do I have to say this to these developers and they keep wanting me to shoot kids in games? It's not going to happen, but he's going to annoy me this entire game, isn't he? Hey, get back here. Fresh meat. I'm not... Oh, look who's back. You came back to talk to Slumsley. That's me, <laughs> Slumsley. Look at me, I'm Slumsley. Hey, fresh meat. Fresh meat, guess what? I got my GED while you were gone. I'm going to community college. Watch I've it. actually never had fresh meat. Yeah, I, I have only had rotting meat. That, that, that's all we have down here. That's the only kind of meat we have, and I, we love it. <laughs> you were thinking of shooting me, weren't you? You want to see if you can shoot a kid? That's fine. That's normal. No judgment here. It's the slums. <laughs> we shoot everything. Shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. I'm actually sorry for yelling at you, fresh meat. I, I, I've got issues. I, I, I need to work out my shit. But, but for now, I'm just going to keep being a dickhead. <laughs> Whoa. Da, da, da. Oh no, I wasn't talking. You can just walk away. Just yeah. kidding. I was talking. Bye. Bye, kid. I'm not shooting the kid. <laughs> can I shoot that? Difficulty level can be changed in the pause menu. Cool. Can I? 
You must have met my son. He calls everyone fresh meat. Thanks for not shooting him. Things have been really hard since his annoying dad got shot and killed. It's been hard because even though my annoying husband is gone, my son is still so annoying too. So go ahead and kill him if you really want to. I'm not gonna stop you. I'd love to not have any annoying family members left. Right, she's... She thanked me for not killing her son, but then told me I could go ahead and do it. Okay, well, we are in the slums. All right, these guys look uh, menacing. Hello, hello, are you, are you bad? Hey, you can't pass through here. It's Nine Torg's turf. Jesus, enough with everyone getting in our way. We just want to kill Nine Torg. Yeah, right. You kill Nine Torg, get lost, shit heel. You're all never right. gonna get to Nine Torg. You have to get through all our trusty foot soldiers first. I'm gonna walk by now. I'm gonna try to do this peacefully. You think you got a shot at the Nine Tor family? Keep dreaming. Watch it. Hey, what are you doing? You can't do that. Hey, what the fuck? Holy shit, you just killed Jason. Jason's dead. Hey, where'd you go? Oh shit, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill some of these Torg foot soldiers to prove ourselves around here. These people think we're weak. Not on my watch. What are you, some kind of bounty hunter? The slums are full of assholes. Yeah, this is Nine Tor's turn. The coolest turf. Shit, they're shooting at us. Come on, shoot back. Come on, shoot back. It's gonna be so easy. Oh, trained us real good. We're the toughest enemies in the game, I think. You just got squashed. This is it, I'm gone. Hey, watch it, Lee. I had a grenade or something, you know? Not religious, so I'm not sure what's Wow, well, all right, you, we, we got them all. You, usually these torgs aren't so hostile. Something must be going on. L let's look around for somebody who can help us. Okay, so there's something this way. Uh. So you, you think maybe there's somebody friendly around here who can help? I mean, maybe try using your scanner, uh, uh, you know, on your on your on your suit. Like, sorry, uh, yes, I don't mean I to get be a backseat it. driver. I'm just sharing my I ideas. Just, I, you are being a backseat driver. You're being really annoying. Okay, I'm doing my best here, and I think I got it figured out. You can just shut up, all right? Sean McElroy says, "Do it, but with a different weapon." Do what with a different weapon? Kill the kid? I don't know if I can kill the kid. After, after meeting his mother, who then told me to kill him because he's so annoying, I still don't know if I can kill the kid. All right, so we need to go that way. I want to make sure I looted everything. I don't even know if I did or... Oh, there's a pathway over here. Where does this go? So I know that's the way I need to go, but I want to see what this does. Where does this go? Ew. Oh, there's loot over there. Oh, it just leads me back. All right, well, I'm just gonna follow the quest marker. Wait, what? Why am I tired? That doesn't make any sense. Ew! British Ronan says, killing the kid gifts you the achievement. Bethesda doesn't let you do that. No, I'm serious. Really? Oh, I gotta get the achievement now. But, I mean, leaving the kid alive was pretty funny. So, do I kill the... <laughs> I'm so lonely over here. I got all this great information I could share. I'm just oh. sitting here, fishing away, waiting for someone to come over and ask me stuff. <laughs> I'm just gonna whistle to myself for a bit now, till someone talks to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love how self-aware this is. Hello there, friend. Can I help you? Uh, what are you doing here? Who is Nine Torg? What's it like living here? Or do you know where Nine Torg is? Tell you what, let's do, uh, let's do, what are you doing here? So, uh, what, what exactly are you doing out here? What? I'm fishing. You can tell I'm fishing, right? Oh, right, duh, of course, of course, sorry. That, it's, it's very obvious, yes. So, ha have you caught anything? No, never have, never will. No fish can live down here in this sludge. If there aren't any fish in there, why are you fishing? What's, what is that? What's going on? Because I'm still working up the courage to drown myself. Yikes, wow, okay. TMI, maybe, a little bit. What's it like living here? 
So, uh, how do you like living down here in the slums? It's sort of colorful down here, at least. What? Are you serious? This is one of the worst places anyone can live. You can't see that just by looking at it? It's more sludge than anything else, and the sludge is toxic. Oof, sorry. Yeah, that sludge does look pretty awful. No, the sludge is the best part. It's the quickest way out. Just hop in there and you got a one-way ticket out of here. Imagine if we didn't have the sludge. Then we'd really be trapped. Anyway, yeah, living here is bad. Right, so we found a suicidal fisherman. Okay. Um, who is Ninetorg? Uh, you're a wise old fisherman. Can you tell us a little bit about Ninetorg? Quiet. She's got ears everywhere. Or antennae. Whatever ants here with. Is she really that dangerous? Come on. I mean, she's just one gang lord. Just one? <laughs> what about the other eight Torgs? Wait, so the nine and nine Torg is... It's a counter? There's nine Torgs? Nine clones, yep. And that's just what's left. There used to be even more of them, but they always kill each other. Fighting for dominance over what? This hellhole? <laughs> this month, nine Torgs in charge. Last month, it was 14 Torg before they killed her. Now, nine Torgs fighting with five Torg. It never ends. Which one do you prefer? Uh, eight Torg is the hottest. I thought they were all... Clones. So, do you know where Nine Torg is? Do you know how we can get to Nine Torg? Buddy, all I know is fish, and I barely know fish. But let's just pretend there's a laundromat you can sneak through to get to Sludge Works over there. Are we pretending, or is there really a laundromat? Come on, kid, take the hint. Either we're pretending, or Nine Torg's goons kill me for squealing. Okay, I got it. We're pretending. Oh, Christ, just follow that path along the sludge. Hey, thanks for the info, uh, wise fisherman. We'll see you later. Have a good day now. Right, well, good luck killing yourself. Uh, so we need to get to the sludge works, and we need to find the laundromat that has a secret path to the sludge works. Okay, it's all coming together for me here. I would loot, you know, but I don't have the special magic talking knife that allows me oh, to Oh, hey, loot. you want to see a cool party trick I used to do? Aim me at those platforms. Come on, come on, give it a shot. It'll be fun. Press Q to fire Kenny's glop shot at platforms with green goop on them. Fuck yeah, I told you. Did you see how fun that was? I call it my glob shot. It comes out of my trick hole. All Gatlians have a different kind of trick hole. My, mine does this. Boy, you are learning a lot today, aren't you? Gatlians have... Have trick hole. Oh man, and his trick hole is a glove shot. This is mm, loving this. Okay, glove shot. Oh, that's yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, oh my God, I could do this all day. Doesn't this fucking rule? God, I love spewing big gloopy globs. Hey, it's Gene. I need to borrow something from your room. I'll put it back when I'm done, but uh, done with it. But it wouldn't. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. Well, I mean, he was kind enough to tell me. Is there a way that I can gain access to my to my instant messages, or is there is there a, a list of all of my instant messages? Oh dear God, he's doing something in my room. All right, let's read another one of these while we we can. Love to break armor. <clears throat> this is from Preble. Wow, nothing matches the feeling of when you break a guy's shield. So satisfying. Plus, plus, plus. Here's Crabstorm again, the erudite forum uh, occupant. <clears throat> Great, Preble's drunk again. Maybe try running spell check next time. If your suit is even capable of running such software, given how much cheap uh, glob Globrian beer you've spilled on it, that is, no, not everyone wants to waste their time reading the slurred type of a third-rate bounty hunter who can't quiet his oxygen-starved brain long enough to question the sheer inanity of his own thoughts. Nonetheless, I feel I must add some much-needed value to this dumpster fire of a thread. All neophytes must learn proper technique for breaking the shields of their targets and not just mindlessly bumble their way through life as the creator of this thread does. I would recommend checking out Dr. War's Advanced Combat Theory and Technique Revised Edition Preble could use some of the information in this text as well, assuming he can read. Dr. War, Bolela Jerzod is the author's actual name, by the way. Dr. War is simply their nom de plume, explains in Chapter 14, using st uh, statistics and deep modeling software that breaking an enemy's shield or armor is best done with a sharpened blade, a sword, a knife, a halberd if you can get your hands on a decent one not made of Jatarian scrap metal, black. For some reason, actual 
Solanus to God halberds are impossible to come by these days. You can only get the decorative ones, and even those will cost you an arm and a leg. No doubt I looked foolish charging in a battle with what was meant to be as tacky wall art for a literature professor. Preble says, What? Plus, plus, plus. And then Bob Abobo the Hunter says, Wow! Thanks for the advice, Crabstorm. So you're saying I should use some sh uh, something sharp to break shields? And then Kill the Weak says, just use a knife, kid. Don't worry about Crabstorm. All of his posts are novels. He's been shouting into the void for years. Oh, this forum. My God. British Ronin says, wonder if the Tor clones know Gary. Think, Ox, think. Gary clones. All right, do we do this again? No. Oh, that's blood locks over there. There's usually some good loot inside, but we need some kind of sharp device to open it. Right, yeah, too bad we don't have the sharp device just yet. Okay. Well, this is an interesting way of navigating the landscape. You're gonna need something like a knife to open those. Well, this is quite a trick shot. I'm so annoyed finding all this loot that I can't actually access yet. I better just get this mission done so that I can actually loot stuff. Oh, do I touch the slime? Okay, it's all right. What? Why is it sending me this way? Okay, yeah. Okay, well, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get to the laundromat. All right, we got to find the secret laundromat, which is going to have the passage. I'm guessing this goes to the laundromat. No, this just brings us back up there. What the heck? All right, this is the where we had the battle. Hey, what's this? Oh, we can jump up there? Cool. Fuck, I don't want to die like this or, 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 or at all. Okay, so that sludge is poisonous. run everywhere you know you might want to slow down and enjoy the scenery once in a while look at this place okay we can't open those yet we're, we're gonna need something sharp right well this is where the quest marker is sending me i went over there and i didn't find a laundromat is this the laundromat Shoot the floor, says the chat. Oh, is there something on the floor? Oh, yeah. Oh. Thank you, chat. I didn't even see it on the floor. Hold Q to predict Kenny's glob shot path, then release fire. Oh. Whoa, perfect shot! You fucking nailed it! How sick was that? Whew, okay. I got my it doesn't take too long, but it's a little longer when there's enemies nearby, you know? My, my, my body gets too tense. It's, it's like trying to piss when someone's watching, you know? 
Uh, Gatling trick hole abilities charge more slowly when I'm in combat. All right, so that was an interest. Uh, when I got close to that wall, it gave me he he, he gave me a tooltip talking about um, opening packages with the knife, which is what confused me. I thought that continuing down that path led to a secret, and it wasn't the right path that I needed to take because it gave me the wrong tooltip. Well, we got through. Let's see, how do we get over there? Can we run and jump? Yes. Now. Whoa! Okay, we made it. Give, oh, sorry. Yeah, no, my glove shot takes a little longer to recharge when we're in combat. My, my body's all tense during a fight. You know, it's like my muscles aren't loose. It just oh, it takes longer to recharge. More G3. Okay. Well, we killed him. Before I die, but that's not going to happen. Who's talking? Just the ones they put at the beginning for like Who's talking? practice. That doesn't feel good because I thought I was like a strong Must guy. be in there. Let's see if we can go find him. Looks like he was Did die I clean only. Die. All right, die this has clean to be the way only. Let's keep moving. Oh my God. Who's talking? I, I hey, careful with the merchandise. Whoa, whoa, hold up a bit. You Let's listen. Line up and everything. They're gonna be here any minute. Just, just patient. Oi, fuck you! I'm sick of this. I want to tear through someone's guts. Oh, I think they're talking about Gene's knife. Ah, fuck you! Got it, freak. We've had enough of your bullshit. Yeah, it's your fault. Stevulax is dead. I was in love with him. Did you know that? I loved him, and now his head's cut off. Just the way it should be. Fuck him. Hey, guess what? I have another secret trick you can use. The power of negotiation. Let's try reasoning with these guys. Knock on the door. Tell me how oh, you want to play this. Fuck you, insufferable fucking cunts. When I'm loose, oh, you're not going to want to see what kind of shit's going to happen. Fuck you. I should just toss you in the sludge. Baby, ignore him. He's just trying to get to you. Thanks, Hot. You, you really know how to calm me down. You know, now that I think of it, it's kind of a good thing Stevulax died, because I found you, right? Aw, oh, babe, I love you too. Oh, cool, they're in love. That's nice. Ugh, yuck, don't do that in front of me. Get a fucking room. Fuck you. Huh? Who's there? Who are you? Uh, hey, hello there, friends. Oh, I, I think it's the buyer. Hey, are you the buyer? Padre says, to kickstart my new year, I took an IQ test and the results were negative. <laughs> Happy New Year, Zox. Hope you enjoy the game and all the subtle gamer jokes. Cheers, folks. Drink them if you got them. Thank you, Padre. So far, I'm having a good time. We could say I'm here to do my laundry. Yes, I'm the buyer. No, I'm not the buyer. I'm your lover, Stevulax. Back from the dead. Ooh. Let's try that one. No, it's me, your lover, Stevulax. I'm back from the dead. What? Oh my god, baby! You're alive! Your, your voice sounds different, though. Let's play along. No shooting. Wait. You're not my dead lover, Stevulax. You're just a person. Oh, what a good trick. You tricked me. Nice job. <laughs> they told us this buyer was a real prankster. Oh, you. Come on. That was pretty fucked up. That joke is gonna fuck me up. <laughs> <laughs> you got him good. Okay, though, but enough of that. Uh, let's show them the product. All right, here's the product. A genuine talking knife. 
I gotta be honest with you, he's a real piece of shit. He's extremely violent. He basically only talks about wanting to kill people in very disturbing ways. Fuck you, I'm gonna carve out your anal cavity. Gonna make it three times as big. Your shit's just gonna drop right out of there. Hey, see what I'm talking about? Oh, oh God. Uh, perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, yeah, great. Go ahead. Feel free to inspect it. Try him out. See how he feels in your hand. Yeah, yeah, fucking free me. Let's go. Let's go psycho on these fuckers. Oh, fuck yes, thank you! Pleased to meet you, I'm Knifey! Now use me, use me! Let me fucking stab these cocksucking ants! Oh, just a reminder, uh, don't do anything crazy when you're holding the knife. Just, like, look at it, see if you like it, put it back. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't want to murder these guys, they've been really hospitable. The fuck are you waiting for? Excuse me, come on, stab, stab, stab! Hey, nice swing! How'd it feel? What the fuck you missed? Wow, that knife is so you. Uh, will you be buying it? Oh, fuck yes, finally! What? Come on! Oh, oh, my God. Thinking about you just this. the second love of my life! Let me in there. Oh, God, this feels amazing. Oh, no. I'm, oh, I no. didn't need to. I when I should leave. Oh, God, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, yeah, come on, get him. You know, in some sick kind of way, I always knew this is how I died. Stabbed by a talking knife. What the fuck are you doing? You can't stop now. We've already started. Kill the fucking All right, all right, man. God. Fuck yes. More, stop bullying more, me. More stabbing. Hey, you, listen. Point me at your raw, fleshy little tummy and jab me right into there. Let's get all those guts torn up. Let's see that fucking red goop spill out. I can't stop now. Oh, uh, that's a pass for us. Is this really the knife Gene was talking about? Gene? Did you just say Gene? Okay, change of plans. Bring me to Gene. So I can fucking decapitate him! Wait, what? Why? He sent us to rescue you! Oh, that's rich. There's no way I'm forgiving him, though, for leaving me with that fucking Nine Torg. He's dead to me! Huh? You know Nine Torg? We're trying to kill her! Oh, perfect! Finally, we're on the same page! Let's kill Nine Torg, then Gene! Okay, definitely Nine Torg, but l l let's put a pin in the, the whole Gene thing. H how do we get out of here? With my tether ability! I'm more than just a knife, you racist! I can tether too! Look up and latch on! Oh, great. Yeah, nice. Yeah, there we go! Oh, Fucking wow. cool, right? You gotta use me to swing across this sludge. Okay, oh, that's why the hook bugs are there. What the I fuck see. are you doing? Didn't you hear me? I'll help you swing off that bug. Oh, fuck yeah. Not as good as stabbing, but still pretty good. Well, all right. Where, where to next? The sludge works processing plant. Nine Torg was talking about some traitor she had to deal with. Probably another one of her clones. Five Torg or six Torg or whatever. I don't know. There's too many now. There's too many Torgs. How many clones are there? Who the fuck cares? Stop thinking so hard and just look for the big sludge work sign. I want to stab somebody. Gene says, hey, if you're actually still alive and find my knife, don't listen to anything it says. Right, Gene. I'll try to ignore that then. Especially if it's about me. Oh, God. So maybe the knife is uh, telling the truth here. Seriously, maybe just put some duct tape over So its you mouth. Uh, mentioned that Gene gave you to Nine Torg? Cave? Try gamble me away in a game of space poker? That sack of shit. I can't wait to stab all three of his fucking eyes. Even the wonky one. Especially the wonky one. Hate that one. Oh, a lug lock. Excuse me. I can open those fuckers up real good. And there's loot inside for you, too. Win win. Yes. I mean, are they alive? Are we are we destroying sentient living creatures by looting these boxes? Because that's a bit disturbing. Right. What happened to Gene? Didn't he used to be a hero? Yeah, used to be. Hard to tell these days, right? Towards the end, the only thing I was cutting for him was sandwiches. Not even the good ones. Peanut butter sandwiches. And no fucking jelly. Not even like ham or anything good. Okay, there's something I can hook onto, but I can't actually hook onto it from here, so leap of faith. Well, what's this Nine Torg character's deal anyway? She's the current matriarch of the Torg family. I say current because they're always killing each other for the top spot. You know how it is with clones. Oh! Okay, I think I can get the hang of this. All right, how is it with clones? Anyway? Oh, really oh, they look stacked. Use me on it. I want blood. Oh, yes. Oh, do this every time. Never fire your Gatlian again. Please, just use me for killing now. Making a knife be only any percent run. <laughs> oh, hey, there's some Gatterall. That, 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 that'll fill me back up. Whoa! 
Oh, thank Jesus. Okay, feed me that Gatorol, baby. Come on, put it in my little mouth. Dude, calm down. Just, 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 wow, I need a break. Gatorol is actually a pretty common fruit. Most aliens don't even have a name for it. But on Gatlas, it's known as the perfect on-the-go food to recharge and build back some energy. Feed it to your Gatlians in the middle of combat to skip the cooldown on their trick hole abilities. I see. We've also got Knifey here. It's Knifey! He's a talking knife! We don't know much about him. Than that, he used to pal around with Gene Zaruthian before ending up in the hands of the Torg family. Now he's on your team, thank God. Seriously, he's insane. All he wants to do is kill. He would kill you in a heartbeat if he had any way to do it. And we respect that. Right. Let's try one more forum while we're here. Whoops. Hold on. Are you trying to edge me or something? I mean, I just said, Ow! Mama just... Mia, that's the stuff. Just calm down, dude. Edge you? No, I'm not trying to edge you. Just chill out. Forums. All right, combat. Let's see. We tried um, Mercaloids, evil or misunderstood. A discussion. This has four re replies. Blim City Bomba. Let's talk about Mercaloids. Not the enemy, but the species itself. I've noticed a disturbing trend where my fellow hunters seem intent on painting each and every Mercaloid as a potential threat to be eliminated. I understand that many Mercaloids are employed by the G3 cartel, and I have taken down my share of them, it must be said, but I can't help but feel some individual Mercaloids are being treated unfairly as a result, not to mention the various space economic factors, which we are all bound by, which have led to the modern Mercaloidian predicament. Has anyone had a good experience with a Mercaloid? Which might thaw these archaic speci speciesist tensions? I have not, but I believe it's mostly because of my social anxiety. Ravenwolf says, a threat about race. I'm sure this will be good. Kill the Week says, this message was deleted by the moderator. Then Ultra Dark Ultra God says, kill the Week, watch it. Either address the topic civilly or post your war stories elsewhere. All right. So, uh, we can recharge our special abilities more quickly by eating that fruit. Nice. We need to, uh, do so over there, but hold on, I'm looking for loot. And I don't see any. So, here we go. Ooh, zipline. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, sludge works. Nine Torch should be here. The legendary killer approaches, and they attend the fearsome knife of death. Oh, brother. I'm not supposed to be back here. Just for decoration, I suppose. Uh, what's over here? Hey, loot box. All right, so that's how I get up there. I use that to get over there, but I want to make sure. Ah, hey, who, who's shooting at me? If someone is still shooting at me. I want to make sure I got all the loot. Who's shooting at me? The ant killer is so in the Come on, kid. 
Kill, yes, yes, kill, <laughs> kill, murder. Okay, you know what? No, we're all gonna die. Not sure why we're still fighting, but let's just keep going until we all get killed. Why not? Oh my god. Do it your favor and die. Okay, I'm not sure what came Somebody over me there. I think I got caught up in the moment or something, but hey, good work, Lord. team. Let's go get Nine Torg. Any last words, Five Torg? Is that Nine Torg talking? Fuck off! I've always said you were the worst Torg. You know, Seven Torg said the same thing right before I killed her. Damn you! And you're next. You got this. Oh! Nine Torg. Okay. Oh. Hey, nice work killing Nine Torg. Thanks! 
Wow, we killed a bounty. How do you feel, bounty hunter? I, I feel pretty good. I, I, I really didn't know if we'd be able to pull it off. All right, it's time. Time for what? Time to carve out a piece of it. I'm thinking we go with a full slab of thigh meat, but since it's your first, I'll let you pick. Jesus, are you are you kidding? What kind of bounty hunters don't know that you've got to bring back proof of the kill to get paid? Oh, God. Oh, don't be such a goddamn baby. I'll do all the messy work. Just go up to a corpse and let me go wild. Wayne says if you kill the yellow kid, you get an achievement um, that says Fallout doesn't let you do this. Yeah, we, we learned that earlier. And then Super Nitaku says, I believe there's a certain toaster that would make fast friends with Knifey. Probably. All right, here we go. Oh, God, I can't look. I can't. I can't. Oh, fuck. Oh, she's a gusher. just taking, like, a fingernail, some spit, uh, maybe a blood sample? Yeah, sure. Could have, I guess. Hey, I'm Five Torg. Thank you for killing my evil clone. I don't mind if you mutilate her corpse, really. It's fine. You did such a good job. That was, like, off the hook. You're not going to take over and end up being just as evil as Nine Torg, right? Oh, uh -huh. don't worry. Things are going to be a lot different around here. So no more crime then? Oh, not that different then. <laughs> Technically, all of us Torgs are evil clones, so I'm still going to do a bunch of crime. But we're cool. Huh. Far as I'm concerned, you're a friend of the Torg family and welcome here anytime. An honorary Torg. You can be 10 Torg. Now, if you'll excuse me, my day just became very full. Right, let's uh, release her, I suppose. Or kill her. Hold on a second. Can we get that over there? Are you gonna be okay if we just kind of leave you hanging up there? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I can get down just fine. Hanging from ropes feels nice for my species. Hey, it's good for our backs. I'm, I'm actually the one who put myself here. Right. Thanks for the rescue. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just gonna hang here for a bit. Yeah, next time you come back, I'll be off being really busy running everything, <laughs> and, you know, doing stuff. Cause, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um... Uh, Josh Bunton says, good afternoon, Ox. Hope your New Year's went well. It did go very well. I can't use my lasso to get over there. So. Ow, this hurts me too, you know. All right, let's go home and turn in our first bounty. All right, well, maybe hey, you we'll know, find a way over there. That was some pretty solid bounty hunting back there. I mean, I mean, don't don't get too cocky about it or anything, but it was pretty cool. Yeah, not bad. That was some good killing. And I'm somewhat of a killing expert, actually. I can't wait to see Gene's face when he sees we pulled this off. Let's head back up through the slums tunnel. All right, well, I don't know how to get that uh, chest that I missed, but... Oh, well, look at this one. Come on, crossing my antenna for something good here. I don't know why that guy even bothered attacking us. I almost feel bad. <laughs> Use the radar in the bottom left corner of your visor to detect lug loxes via blue markers. Lug lug. Lizzie says, hey, it's Lizzie. Gene hooked me up with this messenger thing. He says you're dead, but he's full of crap. Are you still stinking around out there? Can you try to find some food humans can eat? All right. All right, so now our sister is texting us. My least favorite person in the whole world now can text me. Yay. Hey, uh, you know, feel free to keep exploring, but whenever you're ready, we just got to go through the tunnel that we ca came here in. You know, that tunnel? All right, I'm gonna find more lug oxes, whatever that's called. Yeah, there's one. All right, then the radar says there's one over there. Yep. Radar says there's another one over there. 
Better get my money. Quit lollygagging. Take me to Gene and let's stab him in the gut. Wah! I got that one. Okay, there's one up there. According to my radar. It's right up. Ah! Aha! Aha! Okay, how do I get there? Through the eye. All right, so I got to get through the eye. Um. Do you want to hear my Christopher Walken? Hey, I'm walking here. This is New York City. Yeah, pretty good, right? Ah, oh, the translator, my Chris. We're thinking about two different people, but same kind of thing, same kind of idea. All right, well, I don't think I could climb onto that nose. If I, if I just jump, I'm gonna... Alright, there's a platform over there. I need to get up there. Okay, how do I get up there? Uh, from there, I could run over there. It doesn't want to get me up there. And I can't jump onto that either. So that's the tunnel. Ah, here we go. There we are. Hey! Got it! Now I can get out of here. Nice! We got it. Cool. Anything else on my radar? No. Nothing else on my radar. Let's head on out. Brett Bus says you can grapple the eye. Yeah, I saw that as I finally got close to it. You can now adjust how frequently your weapon speaks outside of important narrative moments by changing the settings in the pause menu. You can also adjust enemy chatter. Okay, sounds good. I mean, if it gets really annoying, we will definitely do that. Oh, where's the kid? He's gone. Oh, you're back. Hey, yeah, my leg's still very broken. Poor guy. Welcome back to my amazing place. You look you looking for a new sidekick? Jonathan Cox says, Ox, you can't get all of the lug locks until you get all of the upgrades to your suit. I see. Double jump, says Mr. Virus. Hey! I... Hey! It's my best friend! Oh, it's you. Hey, how's it hanging, pal? Remember, anytime you want to go to the slums, I'm your guy. Check the hunter forums in the pause menu for combat tips, then complete the challenges to earn extra pesos and unlock more posts. Alright. Thanks to our new Keep Blim City Clean initiative, we've managed to keep drugs like fur golds and space meth out of the hands of our extremely... I love how there's space meth in this universe. That's just... Lizzie says, are, okay, are you alive? 
Mark from Sale says, I missed the beginning of High on Life today because I was watching the new lore video. Can you start over? Joking. Love that new lore series. Fantastic work. Thank you, Mark from Sales. Yeah, I can't start over, but you can always go back and uh, watch from the beginning. What's this? Sandwich they want me to tell you about. What is it? Wait, you... Huh, why is the door closed? If I'm with someone for a couple seconds, what just happened? Who is it? You got my munch dash delivery? What? No, it's us! Oh shit, really? Good job! Oh, hold on! Is that Jane? Okay, get ready. I want you to stab me right into his fat little belly. <laughs> well, that's too bad. People should be smarter. Arby's. Meat sandwich. <laughs> what the hell, Gene? He installed new Hello, locks because he assumed you'd get killed. He keeps saying it's his house now. What? No. I just took the liberty of upgrading your security. Did you really kill Nine Talk, though? Yeah, we actually did. Well, well, well. Didn't think you had it in you. I'm really blown away. I'll be honest with you. I expected you to die. Oh, thank you. So, what did it feel like? Kill a nine tog. Look, I gotta be honest, it felt good. It felt great. I mean... Hey, Gene, lift up that shirt and expose your soft little belly for me. I'm coming in hot. Yeesh. Forgot how psycho he was. Why don't you just, uh, hold on to him for now? Oh, sure, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep him far away from you. Yeah, thanks. Now, uh, go turn in your bounty at the Bounty 5000. I got it all set up for you. No, seriously, let me stab him. Press F to stab with knifey. Oh my god, we could do it. We could really kill him. Um, I think I'll, I'll just avoid that for now. So, <laughs> what, you're some sort of bounty hunter now? What are you going to say for humanity? You only kill the bad guys, not the good ones. That's right. Yeah, right. pretty cool, right? Are you proud of your sibling here? <laughs> I mean, not really, but you, you enjoy. You enjoy. Well, gee, thanks, sis. Go take more drugs, you crazy lady. Sit there. I could kill him. I could stab. I could stabby stab stab. But I'm not gonna. Do it, says chat. All right. Well, if the chat tells me to. Do everything the fucking UI tells you to do. Yeah, fuck yeah, fuck you, Gene, you piece of shit. Oh shit, sorry. It's fine. I've lived through worse. Okay, he's tough. Let's try again later then. Okay, well there you go. All right, well, the chat gets what it wants. Okay, turn in bounty. Anytime. Well. There you go. You're a real bounty hunter now. Huh, would you look at that? I, I guess we're really doing it. Yeah, I didn't expect you to get your footing so quick. I don't even have any leads on any G3 bounties. You ever, uh, serious about going after them, huh? You bet. Well, we'll take them all down, including Garmantuous. Well, you're welcome to try, and if you do, you might want to go to the pawn shop and buy back the Dodge unit I pawned off. Forgot to tell you about it. Go scrounge up some pesos and buy that, or whatever else tickles your fancy. I'll have some G3 bounties ready for you by the time you get back. Sure, sounds good. Thanks, Gene. Just maybe next time don't assume we're just gonna die. Right. Got it. Okay, go... What am I buying back? A Dodge unit? What's a Dodge unit? You're really gonna need that Dodge unit from the pawn shop. The suit's not really complete without it. Okay. What have you been up to, we can ask? What, while you were off murdering a gang lord in the slums? How is it down there? Any cool shops, or is it just sort of depressing? Everyone up here just makes the slums sound really depressing. I'm probably just gonna not go down there, to be honest. But it is pretty crazy you killed a gang lord. And she was a woman, though. Not very feminist of you to kill a woman in power. <laughs> Come on. Right, all right, let's go to the pawn Look, shop. Look, I know Mr. Keeps annoying, but you gotta put up with him and buy back that Dodge unit. I get it, yes, yes, I'll go buy the Dodge unit. Okay. Off we go! There 
What, 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 what do we get? We got loot. Sweet. And we saw a bunch more just lying around here, didn't we? There's one in. There's the one in there. Still rolling. What do we have here? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's for the show? What's our life? What is my life? All, All right, let's go get more loot. Sure. Before we go sell. Was there anything over on this side? I think there was. Hello. Did we talk with these guys? Hey, listen, uh, if you find a drum anywhere, my buddy Globo here, you know, he'd really love one. He's great. He's a good drummer. And I think it would help him. You know, he's a good musician. I think it would, he, trust me, it'd be worth your time. Yeah, you know, uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for you. All right, I think I know where to find a drum for him. Hey, sorry, yeah, no, he can't talk. He just sort of makes that noise. Huh, that's, uh, that's unfortunate for him. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it took me a while to understand what Globo's saying, but he's just saying over and over, I want a drum. Give me a drum. Somebody give me a drum. He just said he likes you and he hopes you'll get him a drum. That one I don't understand. I had no idea what he said just now. Oh, that was him. He's asking if you found a drum for him yet. That, that one just was a fart. That was a regular old fart. Son of a bitch, I hope we can find this kid a drum. Right, I gotta get this guy a drum. <laughs> oh, Mr. Case says, Cheers, Ox, this game's world is so much fun to explore. And there are so many random encounters. I'm sipping some Irish whiskey, playing vicariously. Well, my friend, I'm having a blast with it so far as well. Right, let's uh, go to the pawn shop. I think this section of town opened up to me now, so I can find the pawn shop is this way, right? Let's talk to this guy. No. Nope. There we go. Pawn shop. Hey, uh, Gene said you might have the old Dodge unit that goes with this bounty suit. Oh, yeah. We got that. Why? You want it? I want it, too. So it'll cost you. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, we, we know how buying stuff works. Okay. Where's the Dodge unit? I have to find it. I gotta find the Dodge unit. A painting. A painting by Jorb. Honestly, it looks like complete dog crap. It says hold to buy, but it's not telling me how much it is. Let's get the drum first. 78. Hey, whoa, easy there, Toncho. We gotta buy the Dodge unit first. Okay, fine. Ceiling light, uh, Dodge unit. What's a freaking Dodge unit? Drill box, dentures, Cyclops helmet. Galaxy's goofiest gifts number eight, the new U. 518, that's a lot. Cyclops helmet. Come on, just where's the Dodge unit? What does a Dodge unit look like? Crystals, crystals, air tank, loot box, loot box, breathing mask, jock strap, sandal, robot arm, merc foot, cylindrical part, mask, really expensive bounty suit. Okay, is it sitting over here? Is it like close by bounty suit XL bounty suit XL backpack loot box another backpack loot box galaxy urn it's behind the counter says the chat I can't talk to any of these guys how am I gonna know it's behind the counter where's the dodge unit your be a doll and tell the customer to stop climbing on our shelf. No, there it is. Oh my that. god. I think it kicks serious ass. Okay, Dura Health tank, a slide bash unit, a dodge unit. 
1,000. I'm gonna miss that. You can try to dodge without this thing, but it's not going to be nearly as effective or cool. This is how the professionals dodge, with a dodge unit. That sort of wraps space around you in such a manner that you're able to, like, dodge fast. All right, there you go. One dodge unit. Have a nice life. All right, we got it. Let's try this bad boy out and then head back to Gene. Okay, I'm going to buy the drum. I should ring you up for that, right? Great. Sure. Now get out of here. Cool. I hope you enjoy it. While moving, press left control to dodge a short distance in the same direction. While jumping, left control. Huh. Got a drum. Oh my God! You found the kid a drum, right? Is this for him? Can he have it? Sure. Yeah, here it's yours. Enjoy. Oh, thank you so much. He is so excited and grateful. He's not gonna let you down. This was a good use of your time. Thank you so much. Well, what do you know? Fuck it. That fucker's pretty good. like my New Year's Eve. Right, so, moving on. Please come back and shop again at Mr. Keeps, says Jorb. Mr. Keeps, your number one choice for secondhand bounty hunting gear. Great, thank you. Please reply, stay subscribed to unsubscribe. Wow. What the fuck are you? <laughs> Is my girlfriend, Mike. What? Kiss her on the mouth. Uh, okay, remember you're condoning it. I mean, okay, well, just one, one little kiss. <laughs> okay, what the <laughs> You don't laugh like that? Come on, you're being really weird, Tom. What is this? Well, you're laughing. It, it doesn't feel like you're actually finding this funny. You just... Now have sex with her. This is really uncomfortable. I mean, I, I like having sex with Mike most times, but this is just weird. Weird like comedy is weird? Like jokes are weird? Um, this is fucking really weird and really drawn out. Yeah, I mean... It doesn't seem like something that people are going to want to watch. Why are we putting this on TV? Mike, have sex with Jenny now. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, 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 oh, my God. Uh, oh, They're Mike, sock puppets. So uh, 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 what are you, what, what is that? That's not how you laugh. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? That, what is that? That's not how you laugh. Dude, this is how I laugh now. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> This is the this is uh the end of the first episode. This is our uh, space friends. Thanks for watching. Hey, uh my name is Thomas Snitchdel. Wow. And I just want to say I didn't kidnap that alien baby. The trial wasn't publicized, it wasn't on air, like nobody saw it. I, I was I was pronounced innocent, but nobody really saw it, so I I, I'm, I'm, I'm buying these commercials to just make sure everyone knows I did not kidnap the alien baby. I did not do it. Uh, it was, I bet you we could was, spend uh, hours watching the, the television in this universe bomb. and have a great time. But I think I'm going to continue with the mission for now. We've, the TV's always there. We can always go back. Who's going to clean up this house? 
you kill somebody in a house, you gotta clean up the blood. I mean, at least someone cleaned up all the poop. Okay, great. You got the Dodge unit. So how about it? Think you're ready for the big leagues, kid? What, what do you mean? The big league, the G3 cartel. That's the next step, taking down their head officers. Okay, um, are you, you're positive that we're ready for that? Yeah, whatever. Might, might as well try. But they won't be pushovers like Nine Torque, so, uh, well, to be honest, I don't care if you live or die. You know that. You know my whole deal. But, uh, hey, it's your funeral. So go check out the Bounty 5000 whenever you're ready. Got two G3 leads for you right now. Krubus and Douglas. You can pick which one you want to let kill you first. Tanny and the Teenage T-Rex. Go! Go Panthers! Go! Go! Go Panthers! Denise Richards is Tanny? Go Panthers! Go! Go! Go Panthers! Is this a real thing? Paul Walker is Michael. What? George Pilgrim. Is this a real thing? These are real actors and actresses. That's really Denise Richards. When she was young. Is this a real movie? I'm so confused. Right, uh, let's see. Let's check out one of the forums here. Now, let's go back. Let's see. Is there anything new in Blim City banter? Yeah. Uh, here we go. The truth about Blim City slums. Blim City bomba. Why does no one talk about the slums beneath Blim City these days? The sensationalist media is more interested in covering blub uh, Nutley's latest nose job. He had four noses already. Instead, it's all swept under the rug. The rug being Blim City itself. A shining necropolis of blood and bone built atop the soggy graves of the poor and crapped upon. Now, of course, some slum inhabitants... Slumlian is an outdated slur. Enjoy being crapped upon, and that's precisely why they moved to the slums, but they are in the minority. Not that being in a minority is a bad thing. The bad thing is the very structure of society which creates these inequalities. The bad thing is that some are relegated to the sewers while others, some of whom have skin made of literal gold, live in nice apartments dating my ex. Do they not see the plight? Or would they just prefer to cover it up with gentrification so the plight can no longer be seen, which is probably even worse? And then Brian Prisoner says... It's never going to change, Blim City Bomba. There's always going to be slums, and space is the greatest slum of all. Then Fiona Fishstick says, I love slums. My fave are the slums on Speculus 7, because the sewers smell like cinnamon. But cinnamon makes my scales fall off if I ingest it, which I often do. <clears throat> right. Blim City Bomba says, uh, Fiona Fishstick, please don't post in my threads. Okay, she says. Then Hoggy says, or Hoagie, I would recommend checking out the Applebee's if you haven't been already. My adult son loves it, as will his wife if he ever meets the right gal. Hmm. Blim City Bomba says, Hoagie, I respect you. We all do. But I think you've been suckered by tasty appetizers as at a reasonable price. God, was this? Did Applebee's pay for this? That's what space capitalism does to us all, sadly. Look beyond your local neighborhood grill and you will see a cesspool where the Torg family rules supreme and toxic waste mutates residents into slightly greener versions of themselves. Meanwhile, the crime boss and chief Clug Nugman is happy to sweep it all under the rug, which I said earlier, I know, but it bears repeating it's apt and the uneducated, not that that's a bad thing, masses are happy to keep voting for him. Then Clazid, um, Chicken Ring chimes in and says, Not me, partner. I prefer to vote with my pesos. And if I'm in the slums anywhere, I'm sipping on a green gusher, snorting some dopes and scrambling my brains with a third eye debugger. That's what I call a good time. Blim City Bomba says, uh, adding you to the list. Hmm. Interesting. Then Tootslog6 says, The slums sound scary. Maybe a group of us should go in and start firing at random. Then Blim City Bomba says, No. Kill the Weeks says, Couldn't hurt Tootslog6. What young Blim City Bomba fails to recognize is these slumlians are exactly where they want to be. If they pull themselves up by their tentacles, they could easily level up in society to become a busboy or personal slave. But they'll never do it 
just like BCB won't even vote for the change he says he wants. BCB says voting is just one system among many. On other more enlightened planets, leaders are chosen via raffle, food fights, or crying a crying contest. Who's to say our way of life is inherently superior to, say, the humble people of the Yellow Lugi Nebula, who select their ruling chieftains based on who has the most public, most pubic lice? Most pubic lice, really? I would certainly prefer some illiterate troglodyte, not that that's a bad thing, with a bug-infested snatch over Clug any day. Oh, wow. And cat, cat and piss bath. Of course, because there's cat and piss bath, bath says Zoomf can't believe this thread is how I found out Blub Nutley got a fifth nose job. Right. Brett Buss says they bought the rights to a few movies. Did they really? So it is a real movie playing in the game. That's great. Wade Speakerman says Chad is trying to say be careful watching these movies on TV. They contain nudity and you love monetization. Oh, dear God. So there's la- actual pornos in these on these TV things, right? I'll be careful. Davina says, Happy New Year, Zox. Glad to have you back. Thank you, my friend. Right. Executed. Krubus. Zephyr Paradise. G3 Chief of Fergal Mining Operations. Oversees the mining and shipping of Fergal's, a sentient drug, on Zephyr Paradise. Seems to have a chip on his shoulder about being stuck with such a low ranking on the G3 hierarchy. Reward 1,500 credits, except bounty. All right. No porn. That's good. In we go. We're at the Zephyr Jungle. Zephyr Paradise. Gorgeous, huh? Okay, so that's our teleport back. We've got a green waterfall over here. I found one loot cache so far. Boy, you are always in some kind of rush, aren't you? I'm not judging. I'm just, just, just observing. Oh shit! A G3 Grenton. Okay, now the cartel knows we're here. Never mind. Anything beyond this? You know damn well this isn't sanitary, and it hurts like fuck. Wow, they only brought me here a couple of times. Looks like they haven't ruined this part of the jungle yet. All right, nothing under the waterfall because apparently the green liquid is poisonous. I should probably stay on the path, huh? Oh dear God. Ah! Oh shit, why would you go in here? What's wrong with you? Oh, I see. Reward exploring. That's good. We're gonna kill you, you fucking mites! I'm getting tired of killing you fuckers! So that's the platform that we just lowered. Looks 
like we can also go this way. What is that over there? Huh. Right, let's try going this platform first. something up there. And there's one right here. Item obtained. <coughs> Trash bag babies number one. Milk drinker Mikey. <coughs> okay, is this like the garbage pail kids? This little freak drinks only milk. No other drink. No water, no soda, no beer, nothing. Just milk all day long. It's so screwed up. It's freaking me out. Delightful. So, how do I get up there? What's the point of that? Okay, I guess I don't have what I need to go get that. Now. Knife, are you ready? Gotta come back for that one, says the chat. All right. Oof, that water looks a little iffy. You know, might, might, might not want to fall in there. All right, we'll go back the other way then. things okay do you know what fan plants are you no. shoot the little bud and then the the thing does the thing it does and and you know what you okay yeah you you figured it out thank you <laughs> uh lizzie says yo if you're gonna screw around killing aliens i'm gonna try to be useful too and look for mom and dad all right i literally have no idea where to start though so uh Just gonna walk around outside, I guess, and see if I can spot anyone who looks like mom and dad. All right, that's a good strategy, Lizzie. Well done. I know that seems unlikely, but whatever, I need something to stink and do. Aha! What are we gonna find? Oh, yeah! Okay, there's one ahead of me. Below me. Yeah. I'm looking at my radar and there's one right over there and I'm trying to figure out.
Okay, is there anything else over there? No, I think I'm good. I can't hear you, I'm heading into a tunnel. No, I'm just kidding, just some uh, cell phone humor, just to lighten the mood, you know? Oh, a Fergal den. Oh man, you, you, you know, you actually have a lot in common with these guys. You know, aside from all the hair, you know, you're both being sold as drugs to, for aliens to get a high off of, you know? You guys are, uh, it's, it's like you're almost related in a way, you know, if you think about it. Well, that's distressing. Okay, both of these paths can join. Poor little creature. What's that? Is that the one I just destroyed? It is. Okay, let's keep going this way. Looks like I can't get up there, but there is something ahead of me here. There's something above me. <clears throat> According to my radar, there is something over there. But I can't get up there, so we'll just keep crawling over here. Whew, jeez. I didn't want to embarrass them back there, but that tunnel reeks of Fergal shit. There was, uh, like, burning lava like that on the inside, so I think I need another tool to my kit before I can go get that other treasure chest. Oh shit! Okay, G3 are warping in! Over there, they can stay over there. What's this? All right, G3 are warping in, so that's like a drop pod for the G3. Here comes more. We, 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 we're good together here. This is great. All right, so we got a treasure over there. Let's see, how do we get this to move? Um, need that to open somehow. Oh, that's the one. Oh, no, 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 crap. Did you think it was a good idea to go in here? What is wrong with you? It's on a timer. I get it. I get it. I just didn't think they would be connected. Okay. We cleared the enemies, let's look for loot. So there's a platform up there that we can't get to because it's got that lava on the side. This is where we came from. Let's see if there's anything around here, yeah. Oh. I don't think we could go in there because this is a river of death. Oh, 
Oh, that opens it too. Is there a reason I need to jump up on this one? Is there anything up here worth the... Uh... No, it doesn't look like it. All right, so we'll move on. God, I still cannot believe we are taking on the G3. You know how long they had me captive for? And I was chipped. I couldn't talk... To stay back! Oh, sorry. I thought you were a G3. They enslaved our whole village. I don't know what to do. I think we can help. Really? Thank you. It sucks so much watching everyone you know getting enslaved. Okay, side quest. This cute little guy needs help. All right, all right. Well, we'll help him out. Uh, so, uh, are you are you gonna help or or not? I mean, it's okay. I'll just um, I guess we'll just die. I will help, but I can't talk to you. So, what's this? Jump forward and then press left shift to dash forward. All right, so that's why I dash across there. But hold on, let's... Huh. No, oh, come on! Oh, yeah, let's go into the toxic shit. Um, come on, I did the dash. All right, what am I missing? They tell me to dash forward, but then when I do it... Looks like there's a treasure chest over here somewhere. I get it. You're not gonna help us, are you? I see. That's not what I wanted. There's a little platform here. What oh. are you doing? Get, get us out of here! It's right below. How do I get that? It's right below me. Double dash. Ugh. All right, I got there. Oh, I got to get it from this side. That's going to be true. Ricky. You know damn well this isn't sanitary and, and it hurts like fuck. What are you doing? Get get us out of here. I mean, ah. Uh, Screw it. It's just clunky. Hey, I got an idea. Tr try launching that Merc with the fan plant. Oh, look at him go. You could have told me that earlier. I might have to before I die. Maybe you can on Okay, was that just for launching someone? Hey. 
Okay, shit, that village is swarming with cartel guys. How, how, how do you want to deal with this? I can't believe the Moplets live in this crappy village. Their lives must suck. Yeah, well, we did enslave them. Well, of course their lives suck now, but I mean, they probably sucked before we got here too. Right, yeah, it's a shitty village and it would suck to live here. It's just that it was probably less sucky before we enslaved them. Right, okay, I'm not arguing that. Okay, cool, just making sure. Did I piss you off? No, it's fine. Let's just do our job. You're Man. dead meat, asshole. This Moplet village is under G3 jurisdiction. Get out of here! This Moplet village is under G3 jurisdiction! Get out of here! Comment or do they ever end? Rescue some guys? Hey, listen, guys, we, we got you. You're free now. Go be free. Hi there. Did you save us from the G3? Yeah, I, I guess so. You know, do, do we get like a, a reward? Uh, we don't have much. Maybe you should hit up our leader. 
Is that the guy we passed? Speak to the Moplets. These are called Moplets. Welcome, welcome. We are Moplets, native to this planet. Our tribe is forever in your debt. Our leader would like to speak with you. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, great. Nice Pope hat. Hello there, savior. My people were enslaved by the G3 and forced to desecrate the land mining for Fergals. You may have freed this small tribe, but our brethren underground are still being worked to death by Grubis. Um, what are you doing here? Why were you guys all imprisoned? The G3 are a cruel bunch. They did tests on us to see if we could trigger psychedelic reactions like a drug. But when we proved useless in that regard, they put us to work mining Fergals instead. Man, good God, you know, you, you, you just can't win. You're either a drug or you're a slave, I guess. Yes, and those poor Fergals, so helpless. They're making us destroy their lives, their habitats. It's so gruesome. Basically, our lives are super fucked. It's, uh, it's not good. But you freed us. Everything changes now. Where's Krubis? Krubis? You know, we're actually looking for him to kill. What's this? You aim to take down Krubis of the G3? You are truly a hero to Moplets everywhere. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, where is he? We'll, we'll get rid of him for you. Hmm. That's difficult to answer. His work, though evil, keeps him very busy. He oversees many different mines across Zephyr, and it's impossible to predict where he may be on any given day. My liege, what about the man in the mansion? Ah, of course, a brilliant plan. My advisor is right. There's a man nearby who knows Krubis and has access to a warp device. We may be able to use him. He lives in a mansion across the river. Okay. If you could get your hands on his warp device, that could be very useful. Okay, sure. A guy in a mansion. That, 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 that's the plan? Yes. He would appear to be our best chance. Godspeed, savior. What's Krubis like? C can you tell us a little more about Krubis? I've only come face to face with him a few times, but he's, he's an irritable one, that Krubis. I think he resents having to manage the mines. Probably would prefer doing something a bit more glamorous. And he takes all his frustrations out on us. Oh man, I'm sorry. Sadly, there's nothing that can be done about it. Unless you kill him. That would do the trick. Wizardly friend says uh, probably a double jump spot. What, that chest that we saw across the, uh, the valley? Yeah, or the river. Yeah, that was really awkward. Who's the man in the mansion? What's the guy in the mansion like? Oh, his name is Ranchi Delarma. He warped in not too long ago. Seems to be old acquaintances with Krubis. We haven't dealt with him much, but he seems to have a penchant for Fergals. Oh, God, he's a drug addict. Nonetheless, we may be able to use that to our advantage. He does have close ties with Krubis, after all, and he seems a bit disoriented. Right, because of the drugs. A and he's <laughs> evil still, right? Well, yes, he's evil, so it should be morally just. Yes, let's all just agree right now that it's morally just to manipulate him. I love it when we can agree. Hey, thanks for your help. Very well. Godspeed, saviors. All right, we have all agreed that it's morally just to manipulate him? What? Again. It really means a lot to not have to be a slave anymore. Oh man, no problem. I hated money for Fergals. They're so cute. And we were forced to hurt them. Shh, yeah, that sounds awful. Look, I'm sorry. You know, I I don't want to be rude, but we you know we have to go though. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Oh shit, that's Gatorol. Fe feed me some of that. It gives me more energy. It gives me energy back to do more cool shit. Yeah, yeah, I got it for you. Don't worry. Oh, we got a couple of chests around here, according to my mini map. Uh, one should be up there. What is this? 
Item obtained. Warp crystals. You have just found a warp crystal. You can find these valuable gems inside lug loxes and warp bases that have been cleared of enemies. They can be traded to Blorto in Blim City in exchange for warp disks. Who knows what part of the galaxy these disks might warp in. It's literally an infinite, never-ending galaxy out there. Quite literally. All right. Bordo says, oh, look at that. You just got a warp crystal. Collect a bunch of those, yeah? And bring them all to me. I'll trade you some good stuff for them. Right, it looks like Bordo is a chef. When we're back in town, we'll have to see if we can find this restaurant and go talk to Bordo. Sorry for spying on you, by the way. I hacked into your suit and I'm watching everything through your visor. Very fun. It's not creepy. Thank you. All right, uh, Radar says there's another loot somewhere over here. Another loot. Somewhere over here. Okay. Oh, there's a platform up there. Ha! Ah. I'm not too heavy, am I? I, I, I get a little self-conscious. It's just, you know, you're always holding me up and right in front of you and, oh, God, I always worry about that. I, 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 like, I don't want you to get too tired from holding me or anything. There we go. Look at that. We found it. Nice. Okay. We need to go that way. God, thanks! My brother died in a cave-in. Well, uh, actually, he survived the cave-in. But since he broke his leg and couldn't work anymore, the G3 shot him fucking dead. Jesus! <laughs> oh, God. All right, we need to go that way, huh? You're really cool. All of us mob. Oh, you're leaving. Well, never mind then. Bye. Well, I'm not leaving. As I was saying. Oh, uh, uh, my friend thinks you're really cute too. <laughs> so, um, what do you say? Well, what do we say? Is this a proposition? I think I, I think you know what I'm getting at. Um, you know, uh, I, I think we'll pass. Ouch. Alright, got another crystal. Hey, somebody water. warped in over here. I bet we can cross now. You're the one who fucked up the coordinates. How are we gonna get this thing out of the river? I fucked them up. I just typed in what you told me to type in. Yeah, you typed in wrong, dickhead. Now we're flooding. Oh, sure. It's always my fault. You know what? I'm asking for a transfer when we get back. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Go ahead. I can't wait. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, fuck you. Fuck you. No, fuck you. Fuck you. No, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. God damn it, fuck fucking you. burns. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! No, fuck you! Ah, fuck you! No, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! No, fuck you! Fuck you! Ah, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! No, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! No, 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 fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! No, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! No, fuck you! No, fuck you! Right, moving on! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! No, fuck you! Fuck you! 
No, fuck you! No, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! I don't see any more chests on my scanner, so I think we are doing good. Ha-ha! Quit the grin again! Hello to you! Oh shit, more G3! No! I'm not G3! I quit! I'm a deserter! I was just flying around here trying to make new friends! Oh, that's cool, but, you know, listen, we're busy. Oh, don't worry! I won't be too much of a bother! Sure. Uh, you want to be friends, buddy? Okay. It's nice out today, I'd say, you know. Sometimes there's storms, it just destroys everything, and I have to rebuild my shack, and, oh, it's a nightmare. But I digress, you know, I don't... Did you know that I, I used to work? Actually, I used to work for the G3. Ha, <laughs> ha. Did you believe that? Yeah, and I... I deserted it, obviously, and uh, there's a there's a death warrant out for my arrest, and I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I'm back here with a toy. Hey, look, you're on a catapult. I bet you can use that to launch stuff. Will you do it? I want to see. That would be so cool. I love cool stuff. The catapult, stop. Uh, <laughs> what was I saying? Fed them chest and here. them. Heal them when they make mistakes. And you know, my mother, oh, oh, she, she always said, oh, you'll join J3 one day. You're not good, Quentin. She oh, always would say that about me. You're not good. And if my three hearts couldn't have goodness enough, I don't even want to get started on her. You have no idea what it's like to have a mother who doesn't support your dreams. <laughs> All I ever wanted to be. Seamstress. Well, then look at you go! You're really flying! You're trying to copy me! <laughs> I bet you want to be just like me because I'm so cool! Well, tough luck! I'm the only me! Don't try to be me! Hey, fuck you! Dude. Does he ever shut up? Oh, so so to continue. Oh my god. I wanted to grab right, a uh, couple trees. So we and could jump over there. Amazing clothing for the commoners! No! <laughs> No one believes in me. Uh oh! Baby can't shoot! Baby can't shoot! Baby can <laughs> Look at that! Sweet! Just messing with you! I've given Let's you a hard time! I'm sure you'll get it! We, we gotta get through here fast! So, I joined the J3 out of desperation! That have wanted to feel something! Anything! I, I've been aimless most of my life! Whoa! Oh, come on! Taking a little swim? Don't forget your swim drugs! <laughs> we, we gotta get through here fast. But at least the Fergals don't judge me. Not like my mother! Oh, oh this guy! Will you shut it. up, dude? She drove oh. my father away when I was on his sick click so Do you know how embarrassing it is to lose your father at six clicks? I got teased relentlessly in high school, but no, I still go to my mother's lily pad. Should I shoot I him? I mean, I could shoot her. him. Take care of her when she's sad. I'm a good boy, regardless. I made in the past. Ah! My choices I've made, my relationships I've had. Oh, oh. Tiffany. Oh, I had a real one. She was so. Pure! She could sing like an angel! Oh! And then I fucked it up! I lied to her about what I did. Hey! Yo! Now we're talking! That was a classic ricochet! You don't see that every day! No sorry! I'm writing about that to my diary! Yes, I have a diary! So what? It's not embarrassing to me! I write it every time I Jackal! Ah, oh, dude! You're in my way now! What was I saying again? Now she's dating some clean park. He's got a good job and a good family and he's in therapy. Mm -hmm. 
Could you move? You're in my way. To be the perfect guy for So now I'll never get Tiffany back. I'll just sit here alone in my valley and just think about her. Just I don't even hear myself. For the one time I am so close to murdering this guy. Again. You know, I just, I, I don't know where to begin, what to end. I've been all over, just trying to find someone real. I dated a moblet once. <laughs> They're fucking nuts. All right, that's the way I came from. Lives. Okay, so I've done Let's a full circle. You know, I'm tired of this shit, and that's why I quit the G3. I, I just couldn't do another person. Could you just get out of my get face? Out of you oh, God. Wormy says you're being punished now for checking for loot. I guess. Jeez. I don't I'm in Go away. Sure oh. You're going to make me murder. I don't want to murder. You're going to make me murder. All they wanted me to do was just scoop them up on, the, on a warm night in a youth thing. And I'm, I just don't want to be used anymore. Oh, but, you know, I digress. I, it's nice just to hang out sometimes. See what you're doing. Whew, that was some good old-fashioned conflict mediation. You're a bounty hunter, obviously. Yeah, I can see that. Uh-huh. Got weapons. Very scary weapons. And and I love that they talk. Like, I'm alone. Oh, if, if I had a knife that talked, I would be a happy man. Huh. So you're, your life seems interesting, to say the least. I'm just going to watch you do your thing. That's fine. I'm going to watch just, you move around. Yeah. yeah just watch me move around. Sway back and forth. Yeah, check that guy. Okay, yeah, they got something to say <laughs> too. Oh, that's good. No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stare at you now. I'm gonna stare real close. Oh no, no, don't, don't worry. I'm just, I'm just watching you. <laughs> just taking you in. Could you taking not? in all of you. I'm just taking in all of you. <laughs> Look, what a sight. Look at you move. Look at you sway. <laughs> You're a bounty hunter, all right. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, you are. Look at you! Look at you! Look at, just look at your look at yourself. Do you have, <laughs> get out of do my you face, see dude! Me? Do you see you through me? Wow! If if you saw what I saw, you'd say, "Damn, <laughs> that's me!" <laughs> I like your I like your outfit. That's it's quality material. Oh, it's just like every way, ounce you know, of self restraint. Like, to not murder this just guy. Sit in silence and just wow! You came all the way up here and look. A lug lux of reward for all your trouble. Now that's just good game design. I mean, give it up for the dance. You wanted to go exploring and they left a little goodie for you? Huh? That's so nice of them. When you beat the game, you better watch those credits all the way through. Yes, sir. So anyway, oh. it just shows a closeness of like spirit. Well, you don't have to fill the time. You don't have to fill the void with Oh, talk, shit, get all. Grab some of that. Feed it to me. It just powers me back up. take each other in like I'm taking you in right now. Just taking you in. Take and me boy, in. Boy, it, it's, it's good. Oh, ha, ha, it's good. You feel that wind? Yeah, it's just like surfing right, there's around another, me. Wow. There's something else over here. All right, well, I'm, it's, I'm it's just gonna go quiet somewhere. and I'm just gonna watch you now. I'm just gonna go quiet and I'm watch you. Just looking at my um. My, I'm being quiet now. My, I'm just gonna watch you now. Thank you. It's Anytime. Nice day, I'd say. You know. Sometimes it's my my my. You're zipping on you know, fire. What was I saying again? Oh, it's a nightmare. But I digress. Could you, know, you move, please? I'm Did trying you know to figure out how to get this loot box. Actually, I thought you were going to be quiet. Work for the G3. <laughs> Could you believe that? Yeah, and I, I deserve it, obviously. And uh, there's a there's a death warrant out for my arrest. And I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it because I'm happy. What the fuck is that, man? Honey! I started to take care of a little fungus around my... My sight! Fed them and clothed them. Healed them when they make mistakes. And you know, my mother... Oh, oh, she okay, how do I get this? Oh, I found it, day. but I don't know how You're to get it. You're not good, Quentin. She That's for later, says Phil. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Padre says... <laughs> Padre says, can you imagine the voice actor and the programmers writing this floating Crane character? Let's make him as annoying as possible. Then crank it to 11, lol. They put thought into this. Let's all enjoy it. Cheers, folks. I know. I'm just like, oh, I want to kill it so bad. But somebody wrote this. <laughs> somebody wrote what he is saying. 
They thought about it, they wrote it, and then somebody acted it. And I gotta take it in. God, as if my three hearts couldn't have goodness enough. And everyone gets started on her. Yum, haba, haba. Quite the landing. That's not your first time on a zip line, is it? Oh, I didn't think so. Because you seem so experienced. All I ever wanted to be was a jungle seamstress. I wanted to grab the purple trees and create amazing clothing for the popular spirit zapper. But no, no one believes in me. No one gave me the core glass to save up. Holy so shit, somebody, I'm somebody going to I, I have a store. Come on, come on over here. That have way to feel something. Hey, hi, oh, somebody's here. Oh my god. I, my I, I got a store you can buy stuff. Come, come check me out, please. Here. Oh, get out of my face! Valley covered with sludge. Fergals. But at least the Fergals don't judge me. Not like my mother! Oh, ah. I didn't want to get into it! She drove my father away when I was only six clicks old! Do you know how hello? embarrassing hello? it is to lose You gotta stop by. I got a store. I got a store. I tease relentlessly in high school. Uh, I'm, no, I'm almost... I'm right here. I am, I'm this silly. close. Why? I am this so close, so alright? Just this close. There. Just Don't shut it. Shut it. Oh, I can't! I can't! You gotta support local business, you son of a bitch! That's all we have are the small business people who care about putting food on their table and helping their children be better people than they were. I can't kill them! Whatever happened to the world dream? I can't can kill them, really! Bigger business and retire small. But it's okay, no judgment here. It's no skin. Hey, I'll fight you, back. you, you please stop. Please, come on, come on over here, please. You hate everything. Oh, like I was saying. Because I'm a good boy, regardless Ammo of sack, what you This think. tiny biological tweak gives Tenny Penny room to hold ass. more primary ammo. This way you can miss a lot more and still not run out of ammo. Or you can just not miss at all oh, and get more shots than up you. Shut up! Shut up! Okay. Die! Oh, God! Oh, die! Oh, Stop it! Oh. Oh. She can sing like an angel. I can't kill him! Why? Shoot me, huh? What was I saying again? I lied to her. Oh, yeah, keep trying to shoot me. This is fun. Uh, <laughs> what was I saying? I said, Quentin, leave and never come oh, back. Oh, good. What's You're back already. Okay, okay, Dura good. Health Tank. Some bounty hunters don't want to die, and that totally makes sense. A good family, and he's I'm just going to buy it. And he's doing. Oh, oh, sweet, sweet peace. Sweet peace, so I can read in peace. Just, oh my God, why can't I kill him? <gasps> I waited all that time thinking that I was doing a good thing by not murdering him, but you can't. It's just torture. <sighs> Dura Health Tank, some bounty hunters don't want to die, and that totally makes sense. If you're one of those reasonable bounty hunters, here's my idea. Add more tanks so you can store more health so you can stay alive for longer. You can just keep stacking these, and maybe eventually you'll have enough that you stop being scared of death. It would be so smart to find one million of these. All right. Everything he needs to do to be the perfect guy for her. So now I'll never get to be back. I'll just sit here and look. Ammo sack, this tiny biological tweak. All right, we got that one already. Oh, Thank you. And just think about her. Just wish. Okay, hey, please, hey, please come back and buy more later. Yeah, yeah. Promise me it's for my dad. You must have bought something really good in there. I'm proud of you. In fact, I'm attracted to you. Oh. You deserve all the good things you want, and you supported a fucking local business. <laughs> That's just fantastic. It helps the economy out here. Exactly. <laughs> You're helping this shop that's set up somewhere out in the middle of nowhere. That's probably that first sale they ever made. That's probably what's going to sell that little acres off the college. You're helping support the new system. Yes. We, we got to get through here fast. Oh, like I was saying. Why, because radiation? I don't even know where to begin. What all right, is. I'm trying to figure out where... I've been um... all over. Just... Trying to find someone oh, real. I can't I even hear Moblin myself once. think. Huh. Oh, nice. I'm just trying to figure out things. I can't think. Just talking in my face. Didn't work. I'm tired of just giving and giving. That's why I quit the G3. I, I just couldn't go another person. Do you know how much it takes? Oh, oh what? I just realized I'm late for my big date. I'm going to go fuck another really hot gritten. Wish me luck. 
It was so nice meeting you! Finally! Thank God! I don't know how much more I could have taken. Oh! 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 I'm gonna have PTSD from this. God. And what did he say? He's late for a date? Jeez, that poor whatever he's dating. Oh. All right. Go. Oh, thank God. Hey, this is the art department. Starting for me right now. Ow. I needed to kill something. Okay, so there's something. Up there, is that what it is? Huh, does it have something to do with that? Okay, maybe I can't get it. Yet. Yeah, it looks like it's up there. And I can't get up there just yet. Weird Beard says, uh, so you're still considering playing this multiple times a week? That week break between episodes may be needed to not go insane from the consistent nonsense. Are you speaking for my benefit or for your own benefit, Weird Beard? I mean, that's the big question. <laughs> Could you handle a game like this three times a week or two times a week, however long it takes? All right, uh, I need to go this way. We should run as fast as possible at all times and not look at anything around us at all. Hoo-wee, check out this mansion. How much do you think it costs to maintain a place like this, you know?
I mean, I have been smelling the roses, but when you're done looking around, you can you can sprint. All right, so there's the mansion there. Let's look around real quick. I'm not seeing anything on my radar. A VOT says, oh man, I'm so late, but glad to be here. Hello, Ox, hello, a, v a v -O -T. All right, let's head inside. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, hey, you made it. You got my fresh Fergals? What? Yeah, this is the guy we're looking for. Come on, come on, come on, hand over the Fergals. I need my fix so I can get back to working on these resort plans, you know? <laughs> I can feel the shakes coming. Krubus filled you in, right? He said he'd send someone over with another batch. Is that you? Tell you what, give me a second here. I'm gonna look around just to see. You've got dead. Oh, they're, oh, they're in the toilet. Are they in the tub? Oh, they're in the tub. He's got them everywhere. Huh, I don't see a warp device on you. Oh, come on, is Krubus making you hoof it around on foot? Oh, that cheapskate bastard, same old Krubus. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Here, I got an extra. Oh. They're in the laundry basket. Don't let anyone ever tell you Ranchi's not a generous fella, okay? There's an unused warp disc in there too, you know? Warp in whatever's on there, I don't care. It's free of charge. There's a river near here you can probably cross with it. Oh man, go nuts. <laughs> Warpaholics. <laughs> wow, th thank you. Right. Hey, hey, come come, 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 come. Lean in close, get close to me, man. I'm sure Krubus told you I'm here on Zephyr to break ground on a new Delarmo Land Resort. Yeah, I'm that ranchy Delarmo, CEO, Delarmo Industries. This one's gonna be even better than the one on Glassboard 12. Trust me, man. That guy's busy as shit, always hopping from site to site. He's got like 30 different mines all across Zephyr. You think I can keep track of that? Fuck. I see him when I see him, okay? I, I wish he'd take some time off, though. Hey, I want to talk to him about Delarmo Land. Uh, I'm sure you've been to Delarmo Land before, probably the flagship Glassborg 12 location, but buddy, you would not believe the regulations we had to abide by over there. Real motherfucking sticklers. So I hit up Krubus, you know, make a deal with the G3, and now we're setting up a brand new location here on Zephyr where ain't nobody gonna breathe down our necks about safety protocols or background checks on all the performers. <laughs> and you're probably wondering why nothing's been built yet. Well, I might have got a little bit sidetracked. Drawing up blueprints takes a lot out of me, you know? So I unwind with a little Fergal or two. Sue me. But we're making good progress. Yeah? Or will be. Soon. Another thing. Check out the scale model of the new Delarmo land, cause <laughs> it's got a lot of detail. <laughs> it's gonna be the planet's only all-inclusive pansexual drug bazaar. On the beach, you can get your rocks off while getting your surf on. And I can have all the Fergals I want. That's just a perk on top of a rock solid development plan. And once I stop enjoying the perk, I'll get right back to planning this resort any day now, soon as I've had my fill of the Fergals. Oh, man, Krubus. <laughs> what a guy. You see that photo over there? That's the snap of me and the crew, man. That shit was like, I don't know, 20 years ago, man. That's how long we've known each other. He used to be a real wild man before he turned into such a frickin' stodger, you know? Mm, I got clean. Mm, I got sober. <laughs> All paperwork and shift management. I mean, crew man, you work for the space mafia. You'd think you'd still have a little fun every now and then. <laughs> oh, man, I'm sweating. <laughs> I am sweating so hard right now. Sorry for all the rambling. Uh, what are you still doing here? All right. <clears throat> okay. There's the scale model. Very nice. Hey, so, uh, sorry to get pushy, but, um, are you gonna go get those Fergals or what? Cause, it gets sundown real early here. Now, and I don't want to- Item obtained, warp remote. Load this remote up with a warp disc and use it to warp in any base or chunk of space with those coordinates on it. Just find a suitable location and warp away. What you going on at night? It's dangerous. Highway warp disc. 
This warp disk ranch it gave you contains coordinates to an alien highway. Maybe you can use it, uh, maybe you can warp it in and use it as a bridge. Okay, cool. Thank you. Let me go upstairs and finish exploring around here. Really? I don't smell anything. It smells just fine in here. Uh, yeah, okay, I get it. I've got a How nice much place. money does this but guy please, have? For the love of God, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying that because of this room. <laughs> I, I'm thinking maybe a heist, you know, later. No, but, after we, you know, okay. take down the G3 cartel. I don't know. Wow. I couldn't use my gun on him, by the way. I can't kill him. This is where he sleeps. Uh... What? Why the fuck are you still here? God. All right. Oh. Okay, we got a warp okay, device. Hey, um, you know that's gonna be helpful. Why don't we use it to cross this river so we can go talk to the Moplets and check in with them? Lizzie says, "Okay, so I didn't find anything about mom and dad, but I did meet a really nice alien." His name's Twig, and we're gonna grab some coffee sometime. Don't judge me, okay? I'm allowed to get coffee with an alien if you're allowed to carry one around with you everywhere. Okay, Lizzie, no one said a thing. If you're self-conscious, that's on you. Okay, so. We need to go to that glowing thing over there, and that's how we're gonna be able to summon Looks like they're world. working on fixing this portal. You know, and, hey, maybe we can use it later, you know? Yeah, these guys are pooping everywhere. I mean, look at that. I mean, come on, this is ridiculous. Ew, who does this? Okay, okay. Uh, let's use this warp device Ranchy gave us to cross the river, huh? Hey there, it's me, Sudo, I'm back. Uh, looks like you're trying to use that new warp device you just got. You want me to help you out? <laughs> Oh my god. You have been raised on Windows in the 90s. All right, press E and you're a warp signal to use your warp remote. Okay. Yes. Select a war uh, select a warp disk. Use the highway warp disk. Yes. Great work! Wow! Wasn't that fun? Well, okay, see you later. I'm diving right back into Gene's old porn archives. Even AI can jack off. Shit, nice work! You know, we can use this base as a bridge. How can AI... I mean, it's artificial! Artificial, it can't... Oh, God. Wow. Come on! Fucking move! Hey, where you want me to fucking go, huh? You want I should just disappear all this fucking traffic? Hey! Holy shit, where the fuck are we? Hey, who gives a shit? I got places to be. Fuck you! Hey, both of you! Shut the fuck up! I'm gonna Eat fucking my kill ass, you, shithead! Move your fucking car! No, I'm gonna kill you! Hey, fuck your mother! Learn how to drive, asshole! And don't make me grab my baseball bat! Fuck you! Fuck you! No, fuck you! Go to hell, douchebag! What kind of inconvenience is this? Fuck your mother! Fuck you! You fucking honking me! I don't got all day here! I know we're on another weird place, but we got still places to go! I'll beat your fucking ass! No, fuck you, I'll kill you! This is bullshit! You shouldn't even be fucking driving! I'll kill you! Move it! Hey! Move it! Oh, this is bullshit! Hey, get out of here! Yeah, whatever! Whatever! Just fuck! Move it! What kind of drivers are you? Just oh, figure it out! Burn. You wanna Stand check in with face. the mob lib leader? You, Cause, so you know, it's, that's kinda what we're supposed to do right now. Asshole, eh? Wait, hey, hey, fuck! Hey! Oh, fuck you! Now fuck you, I'll kill you! This is bullshit! Now I'm gonna beat your ass, douchebag! Oh, oh my this god. This is bullshit! <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> no, your mother! No, you fucking suck! <laughs> How was the man in the mansion? R Ranchy? Yeah, that guy has serious problems, but he gave us this warp device. By the gods, you've done it. You got the warp device. This might actually work. You continue to provide us with hope, Grand Savior. With this warp device, you can warp Krubis directly to you. How fortuitous. But alas, you'll need his coordinates and a blank warp disk to encode them onto. Hmm. 
Oh well, no way you're getting those. That stuff's in the mines. We could just go down there and get it right now. Oh right. Take this access code and head down to the mines. Everything you need is there. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You know, you, you guys figured out that whole plan for us. You know, that really means a lot. You know, it clears things up for, for us, you know, anyway. Yep, uh, we'll, we'll get it done. All right, they came up with a plan for us. Nice. I can tell you're pure of heart. Uh, sure. I mean, yeah, maybe. Please do not let us down. All right, jeez, don't make us nervous. Our people will never forget what you've done for us. Unless the G3 kills us. Then we'll forget. Because we'll be dead. You probably knew that. Well, why I said that is because we'll be dead. I mean, that's sort of self-evident. I shouldn't have said it. I'm sorry. Didn't need to be said, no. <clears throat> no name says funny. I've had the same conversation on the road while dri driving before as well. I think we've all been there. We can relate to it. All right, to the mines. All right, let's use the passcode and get in. Nice. Jeez, are the G3 even trying to domesticate the local mites? Oh, God. Oh, that's a lot of mites in cages. I hope we don't accidentally let them loose. That's not what I want to see right now. Thank you very much. Hey. Hello. Hell yeah! Reja. Klug says, hello there, Blim City Citizen. This is Magistrate Klug Nugman. And if I want to know, and I want to know if I can count on your vote in the upcoming election. Um, no thanks. We also want you to donate a lot of money to our campaign if you're able. Okay, Clug, thank you for that. I think I'm about The good to thing about combat. bugs is nobody gives a shit if you kill them. No, that's true. We're going to send you about 800 automated emails about this until you do. Well, thank you, Clug. And then, if you do donate, we'll send even more emails. Because now we know you'll donate if we're pushy enough. Thank you. Isn't that how it works? Dong Ho Choi says, for a game with so many random details to explore, it's got too much nagging Fucking to get going freaks. with the story, lol. No, I know. That's every game, really. Why did the music change so suddenly? I feel like this is combat music, but we're not getting combat. I see. Holy shit, looks like the G3 ran into trouble. I may maybe they'll sort this out themselves. That's the stuff. another one of those I don't have a tool for it yet yeah. I swear to fucking god god I can't get those yet Get 
general, though. Feed it to me. Trust me, it's helpful. It, it, it re, 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 re uh, plenishes my glob shot. Am I going the right way? I think so. Is this the entrance to the mines? Jesus, they really fucked this place up. I didn't know it had gotten this bad. These guys just don't let up, do they? Oh shit, Grinton's. Gotta be honest, uh, you know, they're, they're working for the G3, but still better than our friend from earlier. I bet you were right, right. let's see. This was a teleconference, huh? Did I do it? Okay, hold on. There's that treasure over here. Uh, and then we can go to the elevator. It's in here. Can I get in there? Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, where is it? Um, aha! Got it. Right to the elevator. Okay, this should take us down into the mines. Going down, huh? Sorry, I, I almost made a crest joke, but I'm, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save. We're better than that. No crest jokes from me. That's a promise. Thank Not you. Not from me, anyways. You might warp in some bases, and Lord only knows. But you know, from me over here as a gun character sidekick, no crest jokes. 100% on the level with you, and no bad stuff. Thank Fuck it, stop.
little guys barely even count. Alright, don't forget, we're looking for a blank warp ticket and some way to find out where Krubus is. Let's get to work. Too easy. I think we can get the secret. Don't forget about Knifey! Knifey can help! Knifey can help! Alright. So there's something up there. How do I get up there? I don't think a double jump is gonna help me. Did I double jump? No, that's gonna get me killed. Super fast. I'll try it. No, see, that's what I thought. That's dead. Well, how do you get there? I don't know. I'm not gonna try anymore. Shot. Okay, yeah, there's no way we're getting past that laser grid. There's got to be some some way to shut it off somewhere around here. All right, some way to shut it off somewhere around here. Let's... And there it is again. I'd have to come from up high. Oh, I could have done that. That would have been great. Too late now. That would have been wonderful. You have to pay closer attention to my surroundings. He's shaking his butt at me. Killing these weak fucks doesn't do anything for me. trick hole what's so gross about that dude calm down i'll use your special powers when i feel like it's necessary i mean i don't care if it satisfies you in some way you creepy talking gun Ugh. hello would you like to financially support the g3 okay volleyball you can use this volleyball to play volleyball that's what volleyballs are for unfortunately bounty hunters have all sworn a holy oath to never actually play volleyball that's in my house and murdered them in front of me and do you hear me complaining no a glob kidney a fun new organ for Kenny that lets him generate slime faster so you can get back to glob shots quicker with less cooldown time. This is unrelated and probably doesn't interest you, but it also helps with prostate stimulation. And the evil aliens enslaving us. I hope you enjoy your purchase. The G3 will certainly enjoy the extra funds. Okay. Thanks for coming by. That was disgusting. Support the Attention, mining operation 12C. It's me, Krubus. Speed things up! I'm fucking underwater here trying to keep things on schedule. And I figured maybe you forgot that if you piss me off, I will kill you. It's really easy to find more slaves. So just do your job and mine more Virgos. Krubus out. Holy shit. Hey, he's got a Gatlian. We, we gotta rescue it. 
Mining Operation 12C. This is Krubus again. One of you weird moblet fucks just delivered me a batch of defective Fergals. You wanna know how I know they're defective? Because they're fucking dead! Looks like most of them got crushed in a cave-in. And I punished the moblets responsible, but it looks like they died in the cave-in too. Don't let it happen again. Okay, break room and dorms, administrative services, warp base outpost. I don't see. So it's in there. Like, that's the power. That's the laser grid. But I was just up in there. Did I miss it? Uh, let's see if I can find it. Okay, where does this go? Yeah, this is the thing we found below where we got that chest. There we go. What's in there? Laser grid disabled! Yay! What's up, fuckers? It's me, Krubus again. Someone filled out the wrong shipping destination on an entire stack of Form 40 Qs. You fucked up my whole day when. supposed to be down here I don't think so are you fine fucking did you think it was a good idea to go in here what is wrong with you okay well that's one way to teleport where I need to go <laughs> uh, okay here we go let's see back to where we were there we go Okay. Just come forward and tell me whose fault it was. I wish I could promise you I won't kill you, but I'm definitely gonna kill you! I just got off the phone with corporate. The new hire's coming in today. No. <laughs> no, I don't know what they look like. Why is that your first question? I don't know, Merle. <laughs> Maybe it's because we work in an office and don't ask for fucking headshots with our applications? <laughs> no. Exactly. I literally have no idea what they look like. If someone were to walk in right now, I would just assume they were the new hire. Yes, anyone off the street? I don't care. No, I... That's the difference between you and me, okay? Is that I let life happen to me. You, you try to control it. Oh, get it in your grips. Well, guess what? You're gonna learn a lesson real quick. You can't fight the ocean. And that's why I'm sitting here in a steady administrative assistant position, and you, where are you? In a lazy boy recliner, accepting donations from a uh, passerby. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I said. I said, you're a beggar. That is the, I didn't use those words, but thank you for giving that vocabulary to me. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> the reason I'm here is you know what, Dad? I've had enough. Oh, Dad? <laughs> I love you to pieces, and I am hanging up. Wow. Well, I'm the new hire. Uh, excuse me? I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there. I'm Helen. I just need to know, are you the new hire or the new boss? Oh, um... 
I'm the new boss. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, I, I am. I am the new boss. Absolutely. Yeah, right. You're not, honey. <laughs> That's funny, though. I like when the new hires have a sense of humor. <laughs> Let's get you all set up. Head on into the next room and find a place to work. Go on without me. I haven't left this chair in years, and I don't plan to start now. <laughs> Okay, we need to go in here and find oh, a place to work. Oh, God, they're here. Hey, you must be the new office clerk, right? Just sort through that paperwork for us. We're so small. Uh, sure. Uh, yes, I will see oh, what I can do. Bureaucracy oh, jeez, okay, this is more paperwork than I anticipated. All right, better get to work. Okay. So... We still good for Hyper Feast later? What time did you say again? Uh, Zork. Oh, yeah. Oh, Zork totally works. Hey, newbie. You know Hyper Feast? They create new life in front of you and you get to eat it alive? Shit's wild, man. Hyper Feast. <laughs> See you there, girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. We're dating. Oh, my God. I'm going insane. I'm going fucking nuts. <laughs> God, I think my brain's breaking. I think doing this job is making my brain break completely. Oh, yeah, me too, me too. It's fun. You don't mind your brain breaking? Well, you don't mind the, this fucking monotonous nightmare? Bur no, 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 Here we go. It's We're cool getting to just into a broken brain. I can't do math anymore. And done, finally. I can't do math anymore. And if I stay here another year, I think what? I'll forget how to say three-syllable words. Okay, that honestly doesn't sound so bad. It's not bad. It's terrific. Fantastic. Amazing. Three words I won't be able to say next year, so save them now. Oh, buddy, I will. You know, I, I kind of don't mind this at all. Where do they keep coming from? Ow, paper cut. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> It would have been you. You would have been the one to get the paper cut. for Hyper Beast again? Uh, are you listening to anything? We said Zorg. Zorg. Ah, right, right. Damn. I just remembered I had something going on at Zorg. I, I, I don't know. I find this kind of relaxing, oh, I gotta shit. say. I, I'm, I'm gonna blow my fucking brains out. What? Oh, I didn't see you there. Do you, do you still sit here? Funny. Yes. All in a day's work. Glad we got that all done. There, are, there definitely is not going to be a third stack. No, uh, third stack. The stack. cold sting of irony. Is, is that ironic? Uh, I, I never really know. Oh, I didn't see you there. Do you, do you still sit here? That's so funny. Yes. Third stack. Oh okay, yeah, that makes sense. It does. It does. Yeah. I, I think if I, if I sit back down at my desk, my soul is just going to leave my body. Okay. Well. I got work to do. Yeah, I know, me too. I, I, I have to do all this fucking work. This is the whole fucking problem, man. Look, just because we used to be married doesn't mean you can keep leaning on me to work through your issues. That was one night. Uh. You got married for one dumb night and had 16 kids. Uh. You need to leave me alone. Oh, jeez, yeah. No, I mean, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to bother you like that. Uh, it, it, it's fine. Just... Uh, Please, just let me get back to work. I gotta be honest, I totally forgot we used to be married and had 16 kids together. <laughs> that, that's not why I came over here. I, I just think you're nice and, and pretty and good at listening. Really? Because oh, okay, we're done. No more paperwork. Did you hear me? I said no more paperwork. Not even a fourth stack. Okay, go. No. God damn, you filled out those papers like a son of a bitch. Like a real bitch you are. Fuck you. You're you're promoted. You're free to go into Krubus' office. Why? Because fuck you. That's why I don't need a fucking reason. I'm boss McBossington. And I'll be in here jerking off or whatever. Fucking other stuff too. I don't, I don't oh, give a shit. Geez. My favorite part, the, the terrifying, sad oh, yeah, drama I, between I these two. Very well. Wow. Well, I, I think you're nice and good at listening too. And you have a very hot body. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> That's so nice. Um, hey, would, would you maybe like want to get some drinks tonight? Uh, like maybe around Zorg? Oh, uh, I, I made plans tonight. Uh, actually, yes. I'm free. I'd love that. See you at Zorg. Wow, well that was delightful. They used to be married for one day and had 16 children. It looks like their flame has uh, rekindled. Which is, this guy looks sad though. So sad. Our boss, he just loves us. Hey, we did so good. good. 
I was just in my mind palace solving decades long Right. Mystery. Uh, I gotta end it. I'm over time, guys. Holy cow. We just did bureaucracy simulator. That was delightful. We're almost almost on our way to getting the second talking weapon, which is great. I can't wait to find the personality of this next talking weapon. But you know what? I'm over time. So I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for joining me uh, for today's broadcast. I'm having a great time with the game. I'm probably going to continue it. I got to work on my lore video this week, though. So I'm probably... Uh, uh, gonna have a live stream on Wednesday, and then I'll do scotch and smoke rings on Thursday. The plan for the moment is to cancel my Friday live stream for now, uh, just because my Friday morning is a great uh, amount of time that I need to work on my lore video. Not sure if I'm going to replace it with another day, but I'll let you know on Twitter if I decide to make that choice. Nanim says, sounds like they might need a visit from HR. Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, that was a definite HR violation going on in the office right there. Um... Lots of talking about drama, very little actual work going on. But thanks for joining me. Hope you had a fun time with the, with the uh, broadcast. Uh, much more to come. Tune in Wednesday for the continuation of this game. And then Scotch, uh, Scotch and Smoke Rings on Thursday with more Callisto Protocol. Have a wonderful rest of your Monday, and I'll see you all again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now. You just interrupted me. Uh, sorry, uh, I gotta tell you something important. Well, it better be important, because that case is never gonna get cracked down. The victims will never see justice. I, uh, I can't go to Hyperfeast with you. What? What do you mean? They literally create life in front of your eyes and you eat it. It's fucking Hyperfeast. I made plans with someone else. You? You what? I'm gonna get married to Dimitri again. I mean, we only made plans for the one date night tonight.